Hello everyone and Hello. welcome to the very first episode of my homebrew campaign called The Eye of Observation. Mm -hmm. uh, we are the Robbers of Fate and I'm your DM, Mark. And these are my five fantastic players. Um, yeah, let's introduce yourself for the very first session at least. Uh, start with you, Mo. Oh, snap. Do I, tell, do I say my character? Not yet. Well, Just, too late. Uh, it's already there on plain sight uh, <laughs> for oh. the players to see. Uh, <laughs> my name is Mo. Uh, you usually see me as a player on Sunday and DMing with Cisco on Tuesday. But now I am playing here. Uh, I won't tell you uh, what they are, but who they are. Their name is Calamity Jane. And uh, yeah, we'll see how, how that kind of goes. And I will, uh, I will pass it on to my partner in crime, uh, Joey. Go ahead. Hello everyone, my name is Joey, glad to be here, and uh, I'll be playing myself Will Albatross, so uh, hopefully <laughs> it'll be nice to be here along with y'all playing D&D, &D. and I'd like to hand it off to my compatriot, Lucky. <clears throat> you feeling lucky? Oh, of course, always, always. Uh, hello there folks, I am Lucky, and today I will be playing Jay Feather. Uh, you'll figure out what he is later though. Uh, I think we're keeping that a surprise, the classes at least. Uh, and then on to the next one, who I haven't forgotten, Luke. Uh, hello there, I was testing the audio, so sorry that took a second. I am Luke, uh, usually playing something odd, but uh, I'm playing character named Malcolm Harper at the minute. Uh, we don't know what he is, and we'll find out later, hopefully. And uh, let's move on to Cisco. All right, thank you very much. Um, I am Cisco, as you guys know me from Tuesdays, Sundays, and uh, other shenanigans that are on stream. And tonight I will be playing Soul. I'm just going to introduce that. And yeah, I'm so looking forward to see what we crazy get to hear today. All right, thank you for being watching. And back to you, Mark. Yeah, before we start the game, Mo has some uh, announcements for us. Yes, as always, anyone that hasn't seen any of our previous episodes for this one, which will be available in a couple of days' time on YouTube, and also uh, our, you know, Candlekeep Mysteries and the uh, Dining in Barovia Curse of Stroud campaign, including our one shots, you can find that all on our YouTube at Rollers of Fate D&D. &D. Uh, you can also send us any fan art to Rollers of Fate D&D at gmail.com. And we have a Twitch channel, which is at Fate D&D, &D, where you can uh, send us, or we can catch up with D&D &D related news and uh, stuff about our campaign. Uh, I'm not too sure if this campaign is going to be dark and gory, but uh, if there's anything that you do not like, uh, uh, please step away and uh, from the from the screen and uh, uh, we'll come back and hopefully we would have passed that moment. But uh, I think apart from that, uh, I'm ready to rumble. So uh, back to you, Mark. Yeah, with that being said, I think we are finally ready to get into it. Everyone ready for it? Let's go. Hell yeah. Then let's jump in. <laughs> so, you all want to hear a story, eh? Well, I will tell you one of the greatest stories ever told. It's called The Ruination. A very, very long time ago, there was a group of mages called the Dad Team. They discovered new land and the potential it has. It was filled with the most powerful gems this planet has seen yet. With this discovery, they planned to create a perfect being that could defeat all gods. They called this creature, Pekna. Another group of mages called the Order of Dawn discovered this news and decided to put a stop on them. They found the sanctuary of the Tad team, but were too late, Pekna was already born. And worst of all, he was in the middle of casting his ritual that was meant to destroy the celestial realm. A battle was fought, and in the end, Pekna managed to kill everyone except one mage. This mage's name is Trond, who managed to slay Fekna, but again, just a bit too late. With his last breath, Fekna finished his ritual. The sun became dark, and shortly after, a ray of absolute destruction destroyed the bridge between the mortals and the gods. We call this day the Ruin Nation. You probably already have heard this story, like most people. But this story isn't about how it started. This is how it ended. 
And with that said, we will jump to the year 2065 after the ruination. We go to a very small island in the center of the three major continents of this world. This island is mainly used as a safe haven for transport ships. Not that many people live here and usually only use this for transportation from one continent to another. Here we will zoom in to the western side of the island where we see a false small village that's built next to a very tiny small harbor. <coughs> and here we will go into a tavern almost completely north of the harbor. And in the tavern on the bar we will meet our first player. Luke, would you please describe your character for me? Yes, sure. I was definitely prepared. So, um, um, looking a bit disheveled and worse wear, specifically looking tired. Just that's that's something you know when you uh, see Malcolm Harper for the first time. Um, very much uh, just a bit shaky as well, and just very pale and somewhat. Um, I'd say very skinny as if he hasn't, well, he hasn't been taking care of himself for at least a good few months. Um, very, uh, wearing a lot of, uh, dark colours, a black and blue, uh, long coat with a, a hood attached to it and a somewhat of a, um, pur dark purplish, uh, brown cape, uh, to the side of him, uh, wielding a short sword and a dagger. And, um, yeah, he's just kind of there, um, specifically with a notepad. Um, seeing this, like just what time of day it is, and just marking off just a little notch on the book, and he's just kind of sat there. He has a, one drink with him specifically that looks like it hasn't been touched in a while, and he's just kind of he's there. He's like he's got a drink, so it's fine for him to stay there for seven hours. That's the kind of mentality he's running with at the minute. Okay. And uh, sitting across the from him on the bar, there uh, is the barkeeper who will uh, head towards him and say, uh, You sure you don't want a drink or anything? Just. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I've got this here. It's all good. You sure you've been sitting here for quite a it's, while now? Yep, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Uh, I will say, though, uh, you, um, you seen any pe odd people come around here recently? Well, this Over is them, the place. Yeah. Well, odd people. There are millions coming here throughout here. Uh, in, um, out, in, out. So, I, if I'm, I'm out, looking, I've seen it all by now. Um, I'm, I'm looking for someone specific. Well, a lot of specific people came here, but I don't know which one you mean, so... Uh, very rich and powerful man. Uh, mm, Malorian, people is his last to... name? No, you know sorry. anything? And I'll... Bro, a gold piece like, across his way. Well, sure, but this gold piece won't change my mind. I've, you know, I'm telling you, powerful people try to, you know, uh, ignore enough. this island. You know, they are mostly rich enough to have for their own uh, ships. So. Fair enough. Fair enough. But um, you were waiting for a boat, right? The one that's supposed to go to transit. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm just. Constantly waiting, it seems. Yeah, well, leads. I just wanted to mention because I don't know, like you said, which time the boat's supposed to leave, but I see two other people standing in front of the boat right now, like they want to board, so. What? I think, you know. And he will run out of the tavern. And as you run out across of you from where the boat is, we will go to Cisco and Lucky. Would both of you uh, describe your character, please? Let's start uh, with Cisco. Let's start with Lucky. Okay. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> please, uh, you go. I'm just, I am ready. I'm just so, so, so nervous. Okay. <laughs> um, I guess, uh, go, go on, uh, Ducky. You go first. Uh, <clears throat> when you'd first see Jay Feather, he's... Um, he, you would notice that he's first wearing uh, an assortment of feathers and beads uh, hanging from his uh, hair. Uh, he's got a 
nice, clean green cloak around him. Uh, and he keeps his hood just over his head to where you couldn't really make out his face at first. Uh, his uh, skin or his fur that you can see on his hands, uh, it's covered in uh, dirt. It's, uh, it's sort of like a dark gray fur. Uh, he's got a staff with him in his uh, hand. It's a uh, long, plain-looking oak staff with a little white glowstone on the tip, uh, with gnarled ends of the uh, of the wood holding this uh, the crystal in. And now, what does Soul look like? All right. Yeah. As you look at them too, you see next to Jay Feather, you see a nearly seven feet tall man, clad in black metal from head to toes. He is wearing a thick burgundy cape that rests on his broad shoulders, and in the center of this light armor he wears, he proudly bears the insignia of the Knights of the White Flame. That is like a four white flames, literally. Uh, he's wearing a cylindrical helm that is adorned with alabaster plumes ending in red tips, and a rectangular slit on the middle reveals a pair of intense purple-violet eyes. Also, he's got two twin blades that he uses to keep foes at bay, and flying around him not far away, there is a little hummingbird that is always on the lookout. And uh, so we'll look to Jay Feather and say, so, uh, the, uh, we're departing soon. Uh, we, I'm getting quite hot in the armor. And as you know, I don't feel comfortable taking it off at all. Uh, yes, we should be... Uh, we should we should be getting out here soon. Well, I just wanted to get some inform Yeah, I just wanted to get some more information. Maybe look around more, see if anyone is... Um, if anyone's seen Misty, but uh, don't don't worry about it. I could I could ask Kitiana if you want. She's always on the lookout. I just kind of like close my eyes for a second, and you will see that the bird starts kind of like being more alert. Do you see something, Kitiana? Uh, Kitiara will play slightly over around, and actually, you will see. Two people lay in what seems to be unconscious on the beach, not that far away from you. And with that being said, why don't Mo and Joey go introduce their characters? You want to go first, Mo, or should I? Uh, gentlemen, go. Go ahead. All right. Yep. So, seeing from what I assume is the bird's eye view, you see a five foot seven copper-skinned gentleman with nice combed back hair, that little tuft of ha hair on the chin. Very slim build, a bit on the shorter side at five foot seven. You see him casually lazing about a human on the beach. Isn't this nice, dear? And it, yeah, and uh, while he says that, next to him is a Slightly smaller than him, five foot six uh, uh, woman um, who has currently uh, some sort of tank top on with some cargo pants, uh, some boots, and uh, she. Uh, the most not noticeable thing is that her left arm and left legs are not uh, their prosthetics and not her real arm and legs, and uh, she has some sort of kind of. Uh, uh, contraption or like a scaffolding kind of type of thing around her shoulders that kind of attach to the uh, uh, prosthetic arm and her other arm as well to kind of maybe maneuver it and uh, uh, she goes well we survived didn't we sweetie we most certainly did I really yeah. don't know how well no thanks to your shenanigans but now for the high life we just gotta Figure out, maybe there's some parlors around here. It, we, Although we should stay away from boxing rings. Oh, how are we going to make money? If I don't fight? Parlors. Exactly. You don't fight. <laughs> we just lay low. We just play some cards. I just pretend to be a gentleman who has good cards. And we'll be all set. Get back to 
a yacht. So, we're going to be relying on you, Daniel? Well, relying on you, how that worked out last time. I mean, you... I couldn't do what you asked me to do. Well, I could have done it, but... You guys really pissed me off. It, just one. Oh, you just had to take one dive. I just can't... Well... It's too late now. Hey, but anyways, it's not that much money. We, we can we can accumulate that much money, and uh, uh, we'll we'll be back back in the Thunderdome. Hey, we'll we'll see about that. Hey, hey can you see that? There's a little bird flying above our head. Yeah, we're at the beach. Birds fly. That they do. I'll just be laying there, looking <laughs> uh, looking at this bird. Oh, this I'll just bird. be like laying down, like. I don't know if there's, like, sunglasses on, but if there's not, you'll just see his eyes just close, like, the most casual, laid-back pose ever. Whoa. Are you a photo of the birds? <laughs> I mean, is the bird circling us, or is it actually going somewhere? Depends That's my question. Cisco uh, decides to control his bird. Uh, so <laughs> imagine like a tiny hummingbird like kind of looks at you and looks like very inconspicuous, you know? Like you can see that he's got some kind of sentience because when he notices you're looking, he kind of pretends that he's not looking at you and he starts kind of flying towards the sheep. Like keep looking back, you know, like quite awkwardly, you know, like a, like a kid will do. Like you're thinking like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I think there's a, there's a ship right there, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Should we go? Maybe we can get some, uh, we can get more information. I really don't know where we are, by the way. Oh, how do you expect me to know? I thought you knew everything. That's why no. you're my manager, aren't you? Uh, I manage your chaos, Chip Jane. That's my job. If you'll excuse us, though, bird, i uh, gonna... Go somewhere else. All right. Weirdo. Take our stuff. Stand up. Yeah, we're gonna stand up and make head way. towards the ship. I just saw the oldest couple ever in the beach. <laughs> Jay, this place is quite unusual. She was missing an arm and a leg. What a wonder of technology. I've never seen anything like that before. Missing oh, an arm and a leg. This moment, Malcolm will also join the party here. He will step out of the tavern and he will. Yes, he had a prosthetic, uh, you know, like a, uh, like a metallic, uh, like my armor. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, maybe fit. Hey, watch no, where you're going. Up. Yes, I can. I cannot see properly sometimes with such a small opening in my armor. That's a better Just... helmet then. Oh, I'm about to catch. And I'll uh, probably continue it's walking. It's quite angry. Do, do you want some food? Uh, that happens to me sometimes. I get I angry when I'm hungry. I, d I don't need food. I'm fine. Are you sure? I, uh, hold on a second. Uh, we're just... I, I'm looking for someone. Have you... Have you seen someone named Misty? Misty Song recently? Oh, probably not. I'm, I'm looking for someone myself, but I, I don't know. Would, would I have DM? No, nope. no deal. Okay, cool. No, not not, not really. I don't. I'm, I'm looking for someone myself actually, so I should probably get on, on with that. Well, maybe we can help you. You help us. We help you. Um, what are you looking for? That's that's my business. Hey, you are. Oh. Oh, Jane, Jane, they're, they're Jane. coming. I'll say to <laughs> You waiting for the oh, boat? God. Uh, we're supposed to be keeping low, Jane. Uh, well, if we don't ask questions, we're not going to know anything, are we, Will? Fine. Hello, y'all. I'm, uh, I guess since you already heard us and we're having this awkward conversation, I'm Will, and uh, this here is uh, my partner slash customer slash patron slash... Slash Jane. Howdy. Oh, howdy ho. That's weird people today. Uh, hi, yes, hello. 
I don't suppose oh. you all know where this ship goes. Transit. It's uh, going to transit. Yes. Perfect. Oh, nice yeah. to meet you. I am Sir Soul. Who will you be? Uh, and you shall strangers. Your name is Soul Soul? Sir Soul. You may call me Soul. So, so, so. That could be an interesting wrestling name. Questions for later. Anyway, nice to meet you, So. You know, I, I happen to represent a lot of people and a lot of various custom rings right now, but uh, I'm in a bit of a business deficit, so uh, I I'll give you my card sometime later. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Yeah. So, um, make sure you keep an eye on your pockets, okay? Oh, yes, sir. I, um, I will kind of like pat myself uh i um i i believe uh madam um what will your name be if you want to be uh social you don't have to uh, just be polite are you, are you talking to me well you are the only lady here oh. my lady Oh, I never been called madam before. Normally, I'm in the boxing ring uh, or fighting ring, and uh, they're just chanting all sorts of shit at me. But uh, yeah, all right. My name's Jane. Nice to meet you, Saul. Oh, nice uh, to meet you. Oh. Your physique is really impressive. You are very well built. Oh, it's just the exercise. I gotta keep myself in shape. Yeah, you never know when the next fight is around the corner. <laughs> I agree completely. Oh, but uh. I, this, uh, well, you look pretty famished. I, I, I may have something for you. Uh, uh, let me, uh, let me just check my bag. And I put my hand in the bag and I pull out the most wettish rations that you've ever seen in your life. There you go. Actually, how about we make this interesting? What if we give you these rations depending on how many times you can accurately call a coin toss? No? As, a, as I said, I'm. I'm not. I'm not hungry. Oh, you said should eat. Too, come on, they come on, sweetie. Just, just a little. Just, just a little. I, I'm fine. You look I like don't. I don't. I don't eat uh, much more. You, you I don't. Look, I don't. You, I don't you, do you, it you, anymore. You look, you look like you're gonna work, and and the next step you take, you're gonna die. I probably. And if it means we get out of this conversation, let's hope so. And, uh, you must have these benefits too. You look very agile as well. That will be a good thing. Are you very fast? I, I tr I've, I've been known to be. It doesn't seem to be working at the minute. But I've been known to be. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, perhaps you need a bit of company. You look quite stressed. Perhaps a bit of rest. Do you guys well, like, owe us for a drink in the... This is really what the boat was for. That's what I was... Uh, the rest was uh, hopefully on the boat, which I think... Uh, oh, looking around, I think it's... I, that barkeep's a bit... He's already seen me leave. I, sh I don't know whether I can walk back in there. And is that is that the boat? That... Definitely is a boat, but it, it doesn't matter. It's not like you've been sitting in there for like a very long time. People come I mean, and go. We, we don't want the boat to depart without us. You know, I mean, uh, this has been a fun conversation, gents, but uh, me and my companion here, we're just going to walk up on this here boat. Uh, you're free to come with us, of course. I mean, the extra company wouldn't hurt, but uh, we're just going to get on up. So uh, be seeing you up there shortly. And Will's is going to just walk. Just keeping his posture up, just as confident. Come on, honey. Come on, Jane. Oh, Come on, I'm, darling. I'm coming. I'm coming. Nice to meet you all. See, you. hopefully, see you later. Nice, nice to meet you too. We shall we encounter ourselves later. Bye. Keep your head up, Jane. Act like you belong. Oh. That's right. So we got this boat. Are all the people outside of our home this strange? Ah, uh, yes, unfortunately, there is quite a lot of red individuals around. But do not worry, uh, we together make a strong team. Oh, yeah. Sir, uh, you haven't started your name yet. Would you like to be introduced to us, please? Uh, Sam, Sam Tyler. Oh, Jeff, is just going to extend a hand, like, forward. 
he he'll look and just kind of, and it is is just kind of like you can tell is he's yeah not as strong as what he should be. He, he was very malnourished. I'll just say that again. I, I do that, that really awkward thing that when you see two people and then you try to put the hand on top like you do in the worst kind of thing in the battle like a knight will do and kind of put it on the top and then I realize that it's not what is happening and I'm like awkwardly put it. Oh, uh, okay. it gives you a disgusting watch, the other hand on a weapon. <laughs> Sorry about that. The boat. Um, eventually, when you reach onto the boat, you will hear uh, footsteps. One regular, one sounds like wood is touching wood. And eventually, you see one man coming up from uh, underneath the boat. Um, he's very pretty classic pirate gear, the typical pirate captain hat. Uh, he has a wooden leg, but both eyes, both hands. So. That's disappointing, but <laughs> yeah, and it's not a complete pirate yet. But uh, he will eventually come up and be like, "Ah, took you long enough. Uh, you ready to go or uh, wait? There are only two of you. Uh, I was expecting and, uh, more." Jane, uh, you'll notice uh, Will's will do this where he's like, <clears throat> "Yes, well, uh, quite. My other guests here are meant to be Raven, but uh, they're rather wasting their own time." Uh, my name is John, and uh, this is my compatriot, Jane. If you would be so kind as to give us a possible minute, maybe have your staff prepare some kind of, I don't know, grub or grouse, whatever it is you pirates that I hired to do, I'll be right back with you gentlemen. Uh, darling, make yourself comfortable. And he'll run up to the, like, ramp area. And he said, well, y'all coming or not, I mean, we gotta make this work, and I got a good eye. I got a good feeling about y'all, so... Come on. Uh, I look at uh, the captain. Uh, yes, um, it seems like uh, we have a few more people traveling with us. Uh, would that be a problem, uh, captain? Well, as long as I still get paid 100 gold coins, yeah, I'm completely happy, so... Oh, I'm sure these people will pay their own share. We will... Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Mon Watch out, Mon Frere. Relax. It's already been paid for. It's already been covered. Just come on up the boat. Oh, oh this is awkward. Sure, of course. And uh, he'll point towards the other two. You two, come on. You're part of the party. Come on. Get up here. Let's go. All right. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. We can we can move move on. Ready. Um, the captain will walk closer to you, Will, with this one of his arm behind his side. Like, what part of completely cover do you mean i mean as in you're gonna get your money good man that's what i mean yeah but my hand is still empty so we're still not leaving so we're at a bit of an impasse here we are not leaving because my hand is empty it's <laughs> okay. very usual the kind of transaction so you would like to be paid in advance sir well I yeah I made this arrangement through some other channels. I was told I get paid to pay you upon arrival, per se. That's what I've been told. And with that, and make the very first roll of the game. Make yes. a deception check, please. <laughs> and uh, because I want to run this by you, Mark, you could say no to this. I have the actor feat, which I've been trying to use. Because I'm pretending to be someone else, can, can that be at an advantage? If you can describe to me who you're pretending to be, yes. I am pretending to be a boating tycoon named John. That is who he is boating pretending tycoon to named be. John. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. Thank you. Go have fun, Fuck. man. Okay. Uh, you said it was deception. Yes. Okay. Imagine taking actor feet. Oh my god. <laughs> I did it for this reason, boys. Oh, first lap twenty. Oh my god. Mo, do the thing. Change the number. <laughs> Change it. <laughs> also, for the players over here, um, in the uh, the Twitch channel, uh, we will try to count every net twenty and net one rod so far. So, Ooh. oh, yeah. We're trying to keep it up. So we're already in the plus one. So, uh, good job. Also, again, the net twenty. <laughs> This happens to me every game, by the way, I DM'd. Every <laughs> single roll, the first was always a net 20. And I rolled a 19, that's the frustrating part. <laughs> oh my god, you rolled a 19? <laughs> oh, like, 
Yeah. Oh, oh well, um, well, oh, w w w what names did you, who, mention well, it because, well... <laughs> I'm under the name of John, as you know, John and Company, of the bo of the boating industry. Yes. See that, that shrimp that they have at that bar over there? That's because of me, so why don't you just be kind enough and, look, look, I'll tell you what. What I can do for you, I can give you a small portion right now, and then I'll give you the rest as soon as we get there. That, this is me being compromising because this deal was set up to me, as I was understanding it. I got business shit to I, do. I, so. I get your problem, but you have to remind. Uh, I never I'm was not... mentioned myself, so someone hey. is playing us, you know, that's all I'm saying. I honor my deal, so I'll tell you what, I'll, and he'll hand you ten gold pieces. Here's a tenth of it right now, and the other ninety gold you will get on arrival. I, that's oh. what we can do for you. We still all cheap in. Uh, I'm more than happy to. No, 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 no. Hey, 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 This, this is part of my company here. Oh. Okay? Okay. You're here as an ambassador of sorts. Just, just enjoy the company, good sir. Jane. Oh, Jane, thank you. Jane's gonna walk yeah. up to towards uh, towards Will, and he, she's gonna go. Uh, wait. Uh, I, I mean, John. Um. Yes, dear. Uh. uh I'll, I'll lean in and I'll be like, I think I've um, lost all my gold in the uh, in the deep blue sea. Oh, honey, you, you know I got it covered. Relax, relax, darling. Why don't, why don't you just take a seat and let old Papa John do the talking? You, you got, I got. This. All right. I'm like gonna I whisper said, to Soul. Dear Captain, there's no way he's this nice. Just to be nice, right? No, uh, people are nice in the world. Trust me. Look at me. I am very helpful, nice people. It's part of uh, my oath. I shall help others above myself. So I'm sure they are nice. Like I said, dude. Like I said, dear captain. Here's your ten gold. And Fine. I'll I, I trust you on your words, but. I will find you if I don't get the other 90 pieces, okay? Hey, when can't you find John and company? That's how you know. Fine, well, then are we all ready set? Ready to go? And uh, Will's going to take a look around, making sure that the interesting gentleman and gentle lady as he's recruited, he's like, yes, I believe we're all set to go. Well then. Let's, uh, let's head out. And, uh, you will see just only him. There is no crew in sight whatsoever. Ooh. He, uh, will go to the steering wheel and as he turns the wheel, you will feel a force of push inside the boat, making you feel like this is clearly not normal. There's some kind of magic magical property to this or something, making the boat move out of touch. And you will set sails and go around the journey and i'll uh walk up to jane and whisper in her gee sweetie that's how it's done i negotiated for a tenth of the price granted we're gonna deal with it when the time comes but that won't be till a while wait 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 i i thought you're gonna pay him hey, hey. pay him the money oh no well we got a boat ride that's what matters as for these other ones like i said you know we with us too it'll be easier for them to pin but with say five or six saps it's all we can do, you know? Me and you can just sneak on out of here, I'll blind his ass, and then we'll just make a go for it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, just a quick, quick question out of character. What was your character's name, Luke? <laughs> I didn't write it. I, 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 I told you it was Sam Tyler. Sam Tyler, yeah, okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, that's uh, what he knows. Yeah, yeah that's what he knows. Alright. And you, and you introduced yourself as someone else, not as Will, as well, Joey, right? No, I did. To you guys, I introduced you guys as Will. But to okay. Will, um, he introduced himself to the pirate captain as John. Now, okay. that's when, up to your characters to interpret that as you will. Yeah. When you had that private conversation with um, Jane, were you guys... Were they still around us, or at least near I, I made it specifically clear that Jane was whispering to me, and I was whispering to Jane. But were you still within the area? 
they're um, on the same boat and the boat is not I would say that we're technically still in the same area, yeah. Technically. Could I, could I have heard that? My make a perception. That's up to you, Mark. That's up I to you. um I've got pretty good ears. Oh damn it, my ability doesn't work that way, never mind. There's no advantage. 19. advantage. Oh damn it. With that you hear it fakely, but because of the sounds of the sea you will miss out some some words, so hmm. you get the broad picture but you can't, you know, hear the whole entire conversation. You'll see uh you'll see um Jane now, um after that conversation kinda sit on sit on a uh a, a crate. Uh, or, a, or a keg, whatever's around to kind of sit on, um, and uh, you'll see her trying to she pulls out some tools, and she begins kind of playing around with her uh, prosthetic arm, uh, which she is uh, kind of tweaking uh, and stuff. Mm. Mr. Taylor, you said, uh, may I ask you why are you traveling to? Don't touch it. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for someone. If, if you must now. Oh yes, you did mention uh, someone very yeah. special, and it seems to be a secret, right? Uh, not really a secret. It's just right. someone's. Yeah, owes me some explanations. Let's oh. say that. Fair enough. Uh, just want to make sure that uh, you feel comfortable. Uh, Seems that this boat is going quite. Uh, I've never really traveled before, and you see, like he, he's kind of like struggling to keep up with the movement oh, yeah. a little bit. You know, his his feather is going wild, kind of thing. And uh, Mark, during this me. time, I would like to just be observing the captain's behavior for a couple minutes to use the other part of the actor feet. Wow. What part? Uh, oh, you. Uh... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm um, just gonna just be just chilling, just relaxing while observing his speech patterns and the way he's walking. Sure, imagine, make an imagine, uh, insight. Imagine how annoying this would be if I had this fear, Ziggy. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Everybody no. can meet, every character. You could just steal them. But Wait, uh, make I, me an uh, insight. Gotcha. I'll make it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Insight. Damn it. Okay. Well, you get some, but like the accent, you have never heard of it before. It's this figure of speech. It's yep. You get it some point, but you need some practicing uh, in some downtime or something to get this tone correct. Mm. Otherwise, he's just gonna be messing with some dice in his hands, just mm. playing with it, just for the sounds. Not really rolling it, just messing around with it. Mm. Um, <clears throat> uh, Sam, Sam, was it? Uh, one sec. Can I, uh, roll history to see if I remember what name I gave them? I, I you just forgot already? Really? Oh, no, no, go ahead, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, I, I think it would have been on the sea for a bit, 12. Uh, forgetting the name you just made up five minutes ago. Yeah. It's up to you if you remember this yeah, one okay. after the 12. Yeah, uh, sure, sure, yeah, Sam. What? Want speak, man? I don't have much time. Uh, I, okay. I'm sorry. Um, I was just curious. Uh, I I know you didn't want to tell me the name of who you were looking for, but um, could you tell me anyways? I have you ever spoken to a regular person ever in your life? I'm gonna look back at uh, Soul. No. Do you know how to? Do you know how to interrogate interrogate someone in any capacity? He's. You, you will also know he's very shaky. This man, and looks like he's ready to like break at the at the flick of a wrist. He's like very shaky and just just in general, just looks, looks somewhat intense and just says to you, "Have you ever tried to interrogate someone about their private business before?" I don't um, think you have. And you're doing no, a good job, I'll say that much. I, I generally... Down at you. 
Oh, he does a minute like that. Uh, apologies, uh, so so Taylor. Uh, we are quite, uh, you know, uh, long story, but uh, there is no need to be uh, shaky. I see you are uh, one of those who entrust others, and uh, you have nothing to worry. Uh, I am an honorable knight. Uh, you have nothing to fear. I'm not shaky, you're shaky. He says, well, shaky. Oh, it's just the boat is shaking, uh, not me personally. Uh, well. Um, uh, Sam, uh, listen, I just... You, if there's any way you could possibly help us and we could help you, well, that's all I want to try. Okay? Fair enough. If the opportunity comes up, however, my business is my own at the minute. Okay. So, I, I don't... I just want to go back as soon as we can. Let's, let's try to make this trip quick. <laughs> okay, Captain Sweetie, how, 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 how long are we going to be on sea? Well, ask him, and he should know uh, how my, uh, you know, shipping usually works. Uh, it's Honey, not, not we really will up get to me, there but, uh... when we get there. You gotta exactly. let the boat do the talking. You gotta let the ocean rock the motion, they say at John Company, as we yeah, say. Yeah, exactly. We, we won't arrive until you know, you're finished talking. That's literally you know, how this ship <laughs> was worked, so... <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but speaking of which, uh, you go to uh, transit a lot, or is this first time for any of you? Uh, it's my first time, Sol. Yes, it's my first time, too. I'll look to us, Will. We're just heading back home, you know. I'm bringing a couple of these sods with me. You know, we're they're interning here at my company, you know, so... Me and the darling here would just want to introduce them around. Understandable. I was just, uh, you know, hoping I I won this map, you know, uh, from one of you know in a card game uh, yesterday, and well, you, you play yeah. cards, my good man. Yeah, man, I uh, freaking love it. I'm a bit addicted, but uh, you know. Hey, you you got a deck? No, I'm I not on this ship. I need to focus over here right now. But uh, how about some know, decks? I mean, he just said he found him up. Uh, yeah, um, I just won it, and you know, I'm never going to transit myself. So, if any of you are interested in buying it off of me, I, you know, you know, I have a proposition for you. Uh, you're already, I'm already going to pay you some money. So, what if we bid some of that for the map, per se? What's your offer? A dice game, if you will. You know, we can we can play for it. So let's just say, if I win, I get the map, and uh, you uh, get maybe about five, ten gold less than what was originally offered. If you win, you can keep the map, and I'll give you what I gave you plus the ten. So like instead of you getting ninety, you'd be getting a hundred on payment. Yeah, but if I win, I still have the map, and I want to get rid of it, so... Oh, you want to get rid of it right now? Oh. Well, I mean... How about... Okay, what what's your price for the map? Well, it appears to be magical to me. Like, I, I can destroy it. Like, water doesn't do anything. Fire, as you see, in the... Nothing works against it, and, well... Like I said, I never been to transit. Don't plan on ever, you know, staying there with all the monsters and stuff. So, yeah. All right. How about a new arrangement? If I win, I get the map, and that's it. If you win, I get the map, and you get five gold. Fifteen. Ten. You know what? Fine. All right. All right, Sonny. All right, and he'll break out his dice set. All right, so how? And um, we could do a couple different dice games. I don't know, Mark, if you want to make it just I just we just roll opposing rolls or something. And let's just do uh, a roll. Just a d twenty for uh, just to make it go fast. 
All right, but, but uh, I'm going to subtle spell before he rolls blindness on him, just to let you know. You're going to so, blind like, him? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, go subtle ahead. Spell, <laughs> subtle spell, so there's no components yeah. or anything. It just happens for a brief, like, minute. A minute, like... He's oh, actually, let me read the... Let me read the... <laughs> just, let me read the <laughs> oh, keep it by two things. One, the spell's concentration, I'm pretty sure. Let me look up blindness real quick, because... Let's see, I have it right here, blindness and deafness. It is a minute, but... Oh, wait, is it... Oh, it's not concentration. I thought it was concentration. Um... Actually, instead of blind... No. But, you know, I'm sticking with my decision. I will... On his roll, subtle spell blindness him. Sure. What? So, while he's driving the boat? No, while he's rolling. So when when we're rolling, because I'm assuming there's a period where we can just roll dice and we're playing our little game, he's blind, so he can't really make heads or tails of what he rolled. That's what I'm going for, if that's allowed. Yeah, of course. If you want okay. to blind an NPC, you can always do that. <laughs> I just, I just want to know. Okay, so but is there a DC for it as well, right? Uh, actually, you know what? That's a good point. There's a DC for it. It's a con save fourteen. Con save fourteen. Sure. Then uh, roll your dice, as he will roll his dice as well. All right. So what's what's the dice that we're rolling? Is it just a D twenty or how just a D twenty? Or whoever rolls highest will win. All right. And um, as soon as I roll, I want to do another blindness spell on him. I'll use up two if I have to. Because blindness on him twice. Like, uh, how do you, like, I assume when you both roll, you cause blindness on him, right? Uh, yeah. I'm just trying to think, because I want to make sure I have... I have enough sorcery points to do it twice. So, basically, very first... Are we rolling at the same time, is my question. Yeah. Okay, if we roll at the same time, I'm going to cast Blindness on him before the dice finish their roll. Sure, then uh, roll your dice, and I will roll. Uh, the d20 should be there, I believe. Or wait, did it not come up? No, I don't. You rolled a 9, didn't you? Yeah, it's and a 9. Inside. Oh. It's a 9. No, it was just a 9. I don't know why it didn't come up on the, d on the roll 20. Mm. Well, I rolled an 8. And my oh. con save was a 16, so he won't okay, be blinded, so. but he also won't notice it, right? Or does he notice when someone gets blinded? He, he doesn't yeah. notice because it's subtle. Yeah, exactly, so... So... so you win anyway, so... <laughs> it's a job. win anyway! <laughs> it just oh costed a spell. Good job. Oh, I just wasted... So, I'll be like, well... Well, good, man. Um, At least the map's off your, ha off your hands. <laughs> so, uh, what are I they... I guess you're right. What are they doing, Soul? All right, I'll take the map. Been a pleasure, good man. Uh, I, I, I am unsure, but uh, I believe they are playing a game of fate uh, in exchange for the map. What's, what's Darling, the map for? What's you it have like? very delicate hands compared to me. You can hang on to this here map. Now, let's be speaking to Jane. Uh, uh, I'll give her the map. I mean, my bags went, but okay. She just throws it in the bag. Oh, uh, honey, you should have told me your bag was wet, and I'll do a uh, press digitation on the bag to dry it up. Oh, what about these gloves? Press the digitation to dry it up. What about these clothes? Press the digitation. <laughs> to she just takes that time to take it uh, out. Yeah, I'll just keep doing it. I'll just keep doing like a snapping figures. Like, uh, honey, John and company can't be walking around raggedy. Come on. Don't worry, all right, I think that's all. All right, there you go. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, of course. Yeah, they are. I'm, I'm curious to see where the map is as well, but I think he will be a bit uh, out of place to ask. Uh, Jay well, uh, uh, <clears throat> as you will encounter around the world, some people don't like to share their lives like we don't, neither, but uh, they get offended quite easily. Uh, well, it's so, uh, Sir Taylor. I'll, say. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, so. You're an intern, but seeing as how you're going to be working for me for the foreseeable future, Jane, can can you pull up the map? Don't give it to him, just like extend it out, you know? 
they need to see your lovely hands with the map as well. If you still are interested in taking a look at it, so. Oh, yes, that will be wonderful. Uh, I am unsure about the part of uh, you were, was working for you, but uh, uh, I'm, I don't really work for people. I work uh, for the order and for the people's well-being in the kingdom. Uh, yes, but, you know, it's an internship still. They might have not told you. I don't blame them. It's very, very lackluster organization there. But uh, John and Company's Fishing Industries... That is the uh, company which you are interning for, good sir. Wait, John, I thought your name was Will. And you will see Will immediately do a uh, spell on you. <laughs> um, hold on, let me just look at it. And the spell is going to be deafness on the pirate captain for one minute. Subtle. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, poor captain. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Subtle <clears throat> casting bli uh, deafness on him. Con save DC 14, good sir. Uh, Mo, add one to the natural 20s, please. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You actually, you oh, rolled a 20 on that? Yep. Sorry, Fuck. man. Not Fuck. that good for you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and then Will, seeing that the. Does the captain react in any way when the. Um, yes. I don't think he ever even introduced himself. I uh, I would like everyone to make me a dexterity saving throw, please. Whoa! Yeah. Even me? Oh, actually, I wanted to ask you, could you make like, uh, an icon for Kitiara at some point? Just the same. Like shit, I'm not just the So I can't take her out. I'm terrible. Oh, yeah, I already oh. got one. Okay, there you go. I, the dex save came up there. Uh, oh, nice! You can add another natural 20 to the list. <laughs> <laughs> we are so good, man. <laughs> Um, well, it is what it um, is. <laughs> um, everyone, uh, um, the boat will suddenly start to stop. It will com to a complete stop out of nowhere, and it just stops moving. Um, everyone except for Jay and Malcolm uh, will fall over. Well. Uh, the rest of you can manage to just stay on the boat, just slightly, and the. Uh, yeah, the two of you, you're on the ground currently. Oh. And the captain will go behind this wheel and walk towards you, Will. And look you in the eye. So? So? You're silent? Well, boat ah. suddenly stopped. I'm a little disoriented, if I'm being honest with you. Didn't you just say your name was John, or is it Will? What is it now? John, Will, different islands, different dialects of the same name. You know how people say Dick when they mean Richard? That, that's really what it is here, you know? Well, I would like to see your credentials if you have them. Sure, of course. And uh, as Will is shuffling through his pockets, you will see Will giving you this glare. Um, I like your, your character. Mm -hmm. my, my intern kind of spoke a little bit out of turn, but... What we can do, intern. and Will's just gonna. <sighs> All right, I just needed a ride, and I didn't have the money right now. But and Will's voice is back to his normal voice. In case I don't know, the mic picks up the different voice changes. But I wasn't lying when I said I would be able to pay you back. I mean. I'm kind of having second thoughts about some mouthy ones here, but it's a little bit of a pretense. You can't be too careful for me having to say a different name. Well, you don't really care true. who I am, to be perfectly honest. You just want money, which I don't blame you for. Yeah, like that's that, where that I spend money now. You promised me money, and now I don't have the money. I where promise you money when we get there. I didn't promise you money on the spot. I promise Sorry. you money when get there. <laughs> Did Jay Feather fell on the boat? No, she's uh, on the floor of the boat. She oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, yeah, when he said fell over, yeah. we mean like, we were on the ground. That's what yeah, okay, okay. The ground the ground ground. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Cool. No, no, and, no. Yeah, we just fell prone. And um, I'm just saying, I promised you that payment when we were at Transit. 
That's what I promised. Transit. Transit. Pardon my vernacular. And, wait. Do you mean these words, or is this a lie? Are you asking me as a player? Yeah. Because He's lying out of his ass. Yeah, He's lying out of his ass. Make player. another deception for me, please. Alright. Just a normal deception rule? Yep. Okay. Um, while this is happening, right, right. Um, while that's happening, Malcolm will pull out. A, will stand up and pull out a ticket that he bought earlier. That before he met any of the characters and was like, "I'm the, the only one that actually meant to be here." But okay. Um, um, he's, he's, that, he's that type of passenger. Okay, Lucky. So I was. I was just like. So, we, we have tickets, right? Uh, I believe so. Uh, DM, I don't remember if we actually have tickets or not. Um, no, but yeah, counted with the gold you already gained, so... Okay. Um, it should have lifted up, but uh, we got in a bit of a mess right here now. <laughs> don't worry All right. about it. Uh, so, mm -hmm. if... Uh... So if if Saul does if if so Saul doesn't think he has a ticket, right? Uh, he still thinks he owes him money. Yeah, let's say it like that. Okay, all right. But uh, fine. I believe yes, you do this word, but I will find you if you don't. Okay. Well, just another one to the pile. Yep, that's all exactly what I was going yep. to say. Add one more uh, to the I'll, list, Will. And uh, I'll just whisper to Jane. Do me a favor, darling. You know that rat hook you did before we had to leave? Yeah. Do it on the mouth. Do it on the mouthy one when you got a chance. He's he's really gonna fuck us over. <sighs> mouthy one. She kind of looks. And, uh, she points points at him. How sh <laughs> uh, how how tall is uh, Fe Jay Feather? Oh, um, <clears throat> I'm four eleven. Oh yeah. She points downwards. And uh, I'll I... walk up to uh, Jay Feather and Soul and say, "All right, well, um, I feel like there's been a bit of a misunderstanding about how we were supposed to do things here, if I remember correctly." I... My name's Will. Oh. That much is true. You, which you still haven't introduced yourself, Sharpman. But uh, the name's Jay Feather, and I'm just gonna put my hand out randomly. Night and Will Will Blutch. Nice to meet you, Jay Feather. Now, you see, gents, I'm I'm a bit of a talker, you know. I'm I consider myself a bit of a major. I see that, good sir. You are a good businessman, I have to say. Thank you very kindly. Um, but part of that involves having a good crew. What you just did there, Mister Feather, that wasn't being a very good crew of you. Sometimes you gotta follow a lead. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm a little bit pissed off, but seeing as the moment we're in different circumstances, I'm going to let it go. But um, just for the future, if we're going to be traveling and doing stuff together, as I have a good feeling we are, because like I said, I got a good eye for people. I well, that makes one of us. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need you guys to um, follow my lead every now and then when it comes to social situations like this. Now... You all look very hardy, so when it comes to when, for lacking a better term, shit hitting the fan, then you all can take the lead, but And uh, he'll also I mean, go up. I will expect it to lie. Uh, we are not that kind of people, dear sir. He just make an observation. There was no other intentions there. Oh, well, you don't need to lie. That's, that's my job. And oh, besides... Good, because lying is not good. You should not lie. People aren't good, my good man. Um, and uh, he'll look towards Luke's character. As as for you, I, whatever business you have, that's your own. That's fine. But um, again, the fact that you have a ticket here, that's nice and all. But I get a feeling you're going to need a crew where you're going. I'm going to need a crew. Let's at least try not to make each other's lives harder. Is that fair, Mr. Uh, Sam, was it? Tyler. Tyler. Sam Tyler. 
Tyler? All right, Tyler, Sam, whatever works your fancy. Tyler, does that sound fair? Whatever. Whatever gets me on this uh, in, in transit quicker, sure. All right. Now, um, you gents, uh, like I said, when things go south, you all can take the lead here. And uh, in the meantime, enjoy the ride, my good friend, my good compatriot. Um, and you walk back to where Jane is. You will see that uh, Sol doesn't really react. He just looks kind of like turns his head uh, very ominously, like uh, looks back at Jay Feather, kind of like. And you can see Jay Feather is very insightful. Uh, you can see that uh, Sol has decided that this person could be conflictive. So that's the look that he gives you, like, beware, <laughs> you know? That kind of like, look to Jay Feather. <laughs> And uh, Will will just go back next to Jane. Uh, I gotta tell you, you you're already a handful to manage, darling. But can I uh, can people. I can I can I drop the act now? Are we done? Y yes, we're done. We're done. For uh, fuck's sake! How you made me look like I was some sort of piece of shit. You never again treat me like that. You understand, Will? Hey, look, darling, the next time somebody's head needs to be smashed in, I'll call you up, but there are times when dexterity's needed. Well, next time, it better be in the ring, because that's where I want to be. And Does you gotta make that happen. Does a boat count as a ring? Sure, but I don't think there's uh, anyone here that wants to really fight me. Eh, give it a couple of hours. We'll see that change. Uh, meantime... You're not going to make me force into a fight, are you? I'm not. All right. Wills is going to lay back relaxed. <laughs> well, you better not fight on this boat because, well, we're here. Oh. And oh. Oh. all of you will look kind of surprised by the amount of time needed from transporting from the small island towards over here. Because mathematically, it would have taken at least a day, but mm -hmm. it's been and, less than uh... an hour and you're already... Can I see, uh, hold on, can I see, like, land from where we're at, at least? Yes, what you will see is a bunch of cliffs. Uh, it will be a long row of, like, high mountainy cliffs that you will see. And far from the distance, you actually see a red glowing light. And the, fr uh, the more closer you get to it, you actually see that it's a gigantic light tower of, like, at least 300 feet tall. And it's very wide. It's one of the biggest buildings. Well, especially for Jay Feather. And, well, maybe also for uh, for Sir Soul. Maybe yeah. one of the largest buildings you have seen so far in your life. Like, it's many, many times bigger than the regular oh. tree or something. Oh, impressive. Look at the stature of that building. <laughs> and uh, hey, What if I cool. could, Soul? And uh, what you'll notice, DM, I forgot to tell you, is that part of... Um, Will's appearance is a cap, sort of like a, sort of like a piratey, not pirate hat, but like one of those like feather hat looking things, a little bit fancier. Yeah, and uh, so as as he's looking at land, he's like, hmm, hmm. Actually, uh, that right there is a pretty good spot. Well, you've been keeping true to your word. Actually, I never got your name, Mister Captain Sir. Just to be, since we're in the air here now, my name is actually Will. You know, and uh, these are just my compatriots. What's your name? Oh, my name is Laurel. Um, Laurel, my pleasure to meet you. Now we're on land, and uh, from where I can see, we're not on land yet. You just see the land. I yeah, okay. I see the land. How far is the land from us? <laughs> I would, I would say imagine I'm from now. From how far you were, it's just still a mile away. Okay, I need to look up a spell description real quick. Do you guys have any like uh, RP things you want to do real quick while I contemplate one more final action here? I will, uh, if it's okay, I will uh, kind of look at Jay Feather, uh, look back at Tiara, that is Kitty Tiara, that is on the top, uh, flying above the ship, and I will approach uh, kind of dodging Will and try to speak to Lady Jane. Uh, that will be my intention. So I'll be like awkwardly kind of like moving, like <laughs> hulking around. And I'll say, oh, uh, may I speak to you for a second, my lady? Yeah, you already are. What do you need? 
Um, I will kind of like move a little bit so I'm not like right adjacent to Will because uh, just because I'm pro I'm gonna say something that he will probably wouldn't like to hear. So would that be possible, DM, or is in terms of a space? I mean, I imagine if you if Jane goes with you, you can get either somewhere where I can't hear you or. Like Will's kind of a little wary, but he's not gonna like lean his head forward and like try okay. to over here. Yeah. For also, with how fast the boat is going at this point, yeah, it will be tough to hear yeah. from a distance. Okay. So I'll say I just want to make sure that uh, that gentleman you travel with uh, is looking after you, my lady. I see quite a hostility on you, and I'm concerned. Uh, are you okay? Hostility on me? My dear. Yes, towards, towards him, I mean, not uh, towards us. You've been very polite and pleasant. Uh, you mean he made hostility towards me? Yes, uh, I'm <laughs> concerned. Oh, uh, oh sweetie, uh, if he was hostile to me, he wouldn't have any teeth anymore. I can tell you that. I, I see you're a lady who can defend herself. It's very, very good. But uh, I wanted to express my... Concerned, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I only see uh, your eyes. They're very um, uh, they're very bright. Uh, is there oh, anything yes, underneath uh, there? Oh, uh, I do not remove my armor uh, in front of people. Unfortunately, uh, well, it's not a beautiful sight to see. Uh, I went through a horrible accident and I'm terribly disfigured and burnt. Oh, that makes two of us, right? She shows her arm and a leg, lifts her, tra uh, lifts her, uh, her cargo pants up. Uh, to oh, but right yours leg. looks very badass and uh, well, useful, not like mine. Well, uh, you could just say uh, I had a good teacher. Yeah, I'm, oh, so I'm, you were trained as well? Uh, no, no, I was thankful that he, he was there, and now uh, uh, he, he, he brought me back to um, One Piece, I guess. Uh, and now I'm just, uh, I wonder, yeah, have you ever been to the Thunderdome? The Thunderdome? Uh, I don't think I've heard. Uh, <laughs> well, have I heard what the Thunderdome is, DM? You can make an history, but with disadvantage. Okay, so uh, I, will, I will get on that. Uh, and I will tell you in one second if I heard of it. Nope. <laughs> uh, nope. I don't believe I have, but it sounds like... Uh, I don't know. It sounds familiar. I don't know why. I'll, uh, I'll kind of uh, stand up and then I'll make him look towards the uh the sea and i'll just just imagine the whole a massive arena with thousands and thousands of people cheering your name while you're in the middle of the ring fighting against someone who thinks they can beat you oh, what do you fight for do you fight for glory i fight to be the best oh all right, uh, so for your honor, uh, do you feel proud of your victories, is it done? Proud? Um, not really, I do the work. I know what I'm capable of. I just test myself to see where my limits are. And so far, anyone that's tried against me uh, has been pretty easy. Oh, uh, I mean... I have been a bit uh, low on training since I've been in the ship. Uh, I will love to, uh, perhaps, uh, we could, you know, uh, have a small, uh, honorable battle, uh, if you wish. Uh, obviously, I will go easy on you, do not worry. Why do you, you need to go easy yet. on me? Well, uh, you are... A lady, of course, and I will help to disrespect uh, a lady uh, such such as yourself. Well, <laughs> you can hold back all you want, but I'll make sure that I'm going to make plenty of dents on you when we do fight. I will love that. All right. Will that be okay, Captain? 
like I said, no fights on the boat, especially around here. Behave, okay? All right, oh. all right. It's fine. We'll oh. we'll make a date out of it on another day. Oh, you kind of like see that so kind of awkwardly does this movement like oh damn, <laughs> that that is not good. Like a skirt, and uh, and he will just say, all right, uh, just do. If you ever have uh, any needs of uh, help, please know we are here for you. Okay, okay. And I'll bow a little. And oh. do a, a turn. <laughs> All right. And I'll just say to Jane is, I'm assuming she's coming back. All in armor. Oh, that's interesting that you have that type. What do you mean? Well, you know what I mean. I mean, very large gentleman coming to check on a lady in distress, I imagine, or just make fun conversation. Yeah, don't worry. You'll have time to flirt with them as we're moving along. Although, I am going to kind of need you to trust me on this next plan of action I have. Look, Will, I'm going to be honest with you. I've trusted you all the way through right now, and I've broken my trust with you. So I'm repaying you for what I did wrong. Yeah, things could have gone the other way, and uh, it didn't because um, I couldn't keep my shit together. I mean, you saw that stupid gnome. Uh, if you had seen what he was doing before and taking the taking the piss out of me, I I couldn't I couldn't hide it. I I just had to beat him up. I just had to. Well, he he flew very far when I hit him once, but I gotta admit that was pretty cool how you knocked his ass out. It was one of those. That was cool. That that was pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, then they all the chanting, nice. my name, Calamity Jane, Calamity Jane. It was amazing. Yep. <sighs> Too bad it costed all the money and yachts and apartments, but we're here now, and uh, we're going to be in a very good place soon. And uh, DM, just one more question. Transit as a whole, will would you say Will's fairly familiar with it, or is it like he's never been there? That's something... never been there. All of you have never, never been here. Been Okay, that's so. fine. Uh, so the next thing I want to ask about that is that um, in the distance, you say a tower. Is there like a town or any sort of civilization or is it only like that tower? No, as you will come closer, um, mm -hmm. you will see the light tower. And as you come closer, you see the reds glowing from it. It's actually like a gigantic crystal of like a 30 to 40 feet diameter wow. on top of it that is shining bright light. Underneath of it, you see like a very large part of a an harbor, and a little bit at the end of it, it goes all the way down throughout the cliffs. Eventually, you see a small portion of a beach. Uh, it, you'll see a smaller harbor. Is it shining it's, a uh, red light, like spinning round and round, like a lighthouse? No, it's okay. it's just bright shining light. It reflects it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. it's easy just, to see uh, many ships. Gotcha. Just two more questions, then I can move on with what I want to do. So, the cliffs, as you say, the fact I'm looking at them, I could place that in the category of viewed once, right? Yeah. Okay. Second question. Um, my subtle spell, that works with items, right? Like, if an item gives me a spell, I can still use meta magic on it? I assume, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure of that. And I'll be like... Right, well, we're coming close to our destination. Crew, gather around, gather around, gather around. I need to talk to y'all about what we're going to do. But when we hit this here land, and he's beckoning all of you to come, except for the pirate captain. <laughs> hmm. uh, cautiously move out of interest, but keeping the distance. I don't go all the way. Sure. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I understand we were in a bit of a pickle here, but... Um, the way I see it, we got a couple of choices. Either I got a plan, me and me and my compatriot Jane here have a plan, and you can either all come with us, or you can be, uh, we can go our separate ways. But I assure you that uh, you're probably going to want to come with us in this next, when we get there. And that's well, including you, Tyler. Well, I'm offering you a faster way into transit than where we're at right now. Buster Howell. Okay. I'm listening. <coughs> I gotta know whether you're in or out first. I'm listening. Alright, you're in. Jane is, is in. This, uh, is this gonna be a 
ruffian act of violence or something. Some no, kind of... no, no violence, hmm. good man. I can promise you that one. We're not going to hurt anybody. All right, as long as... And that is an actual hurt. truth. That's the will, as far as he knows. This plan isn't going to hurt anybody. All right, as long as no people are in danger of damage, I don't see why not. Uh, we are kind of in a hurry, aren't we, Jay Feather? And Jay also, Feather? everyone make a perception check right on site. Yep. Perception, gotcha. Uh, where is it? I'm having to... There it is. Hey, okay. The sea breeze is really loud. Um, I have an ability that lets me add d6s to so roll. I'm going to use one of those to add a d6. I'm being, co I'm being, um, specifically. Uh, sure, uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm, yeah, being specifically worded just to hide secrets. Oh, Fuck. Okay. Twelve. Right. Yeah. Altogether. Only, only Jane will notice that a small boat from the, uh, Almost directly underneath the lighthouse on the bigger side of the harbor, you see a small boat coming directly at you at an immense fast speed. It will probably arrive in 12 seconds. Oh, okay, and I'll say in that time. Oh, Jane's the only one who sees it. I'll, yep. I'll, I'll, I'll tap Sol on the side. I think we got some company. Not sure if they're oh, good about uh, it. Jane? Jane? Oh. I'll, point, I'll, point, I'll point towards the boat. Jane? Exactly. Uh, we have company. Uh, you, you, you all sit tight here. I'm gonna go to the talk to the captain. I'll walk up to the captain really fast. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Um, I will pay you your money soon. As soon as, and I'm gonna subtle spell teleportation on all of us to the lighthouse. Teleportation. Roll a hundred, please. Yep. Because of my helm. Yeah. D100. Oh, where's the D100? Yeah, you have to. Yeah, here it is. Here it is. Damn. This will be very important. I got a 65. <laughs> Is that uh, good or bad? What does that mean? I, we did say that it was viewed once, so that would put it in the... Oh, fuck. Oh, target. Uh, but it's, it's not at the lighthouse, but we're on land. Could you argue? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Wow. So. This is a fun start of the campaign. This is why I will ask all of you, are you in or out? Because it has to be willing creatures. Like, if they didn't want to go, they're not going to go. Willing will. I'm and sure it's subtle it's spell, so he doesn't eight. know I cast yeah. a spell. From his perspective, we all just disappeared. Someone's asking, okay. can you see where you were going? I think so. Yeah, he so he spotted that. He said the cliffs. And it, yeah, I, I assume... I assume it's off target, and it's you've got to a viewed once, or is it description? Yeah. Uh, viewed once. I clarified. Yeah, that. Well, th they're exactly the same. Viewed yeah. once and description. So we're 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 screwed. No, well, <laughs> not I directly. Say we're screwed. As well, you all will uh, vanish from the boat. You will reappear around the place of the harbor where you saw the boat take off, and as you arrive there, <laughs> you are surrounding. A dead body laying on the floor over there. And around you are at least 20 guards. And I'm going to deceive on everybody. So I don't, I'll make a roll if I have to. I'll bet. What, what just happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. We're just all here now. I don't They're know. Whoa. Uh, yeah, everyone. Yeah, the, there are, um, Maybe uh, all the guards are kind of looking the kind of same, like it's Dragonborn, uh, yeah, Dragon Skill Armor from Skyrim kind mm -hmm. of type of uh, clothing. Mm -hmm. And they will instantly grab their spears or swords or whatever they are wielding and point it at you. And there is one uh, specific figure uh, wearing a red long robe. Uh, it will look directly at you from... Uh, hello there. Why are you here? Who Why are, are we here? What, how did you get here? We're we're just here. We're just here. We didn't really have a purpose or anything. I will deceive everyone because Will knows he casted the spell and he settled it. So to him, nobody should know. And he's just going to lie and say he has no idea. I don't know well, if Jane knows him well enough to buy that or knows about what his hat does. That's up to you. And No, you've never done it before. Oh. I'm just like... Yeah, never done it. Yeah. How, uh, how did we... Uh... What's going on? Uh, where are we? Well, what are your anyone? names? Who are you guys? 
My, 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 my name is Will. Uh, this, this is our companion. My companionship. The wheels fills. Aren't we still on the boat? No, we're not in the boat anymore. Look around you, Mr. Feather. Oh, I believe we have been teleported. Uh, I will dismiss yeah. dismiss my uh, hummingbird, and I will uh, summon him back right on top of us, so he can be oh. there. Oh yeah. Sure. So you cast magic with that? Um, I mean, it, it is already casted, so I can use my action to dismiss him and make him reappear at will. So, so it does. It, I don't think it has any effect visual because the spell is already long past. But as yeah, long but as you don't have to like cast anything to make him no, reappear. It's no, no I think no yeah. nothing. Okay. Let it's me just uh, nice. make sure. I think it's only an action. Like uh, it just takes an action. Sure, then, then it's sure. fine. I put it there. Just wondering. Will didn't know about the bird, or else he would have brought the bird too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you can I just miss it as an action. While temporary dismiss, you can just. It, it's just an action. But um, with that in mind, I guess as we're asking around, yeah. Uh, we were on our way, but uh, then we ended up here. What What are you doing here? We are consulting the murder on what happened here on the harbor. Like, you know, we. I where have did you eye. come from? Where are you from? You know, the we boat. came from far away. That's I. I'm a bit of a detective myself. I'm sure me and okay, my. Okay, you enemies. shush it. I've heard enough of you already. You said boat. What boat? Uh. Uh. Yes. We were teleported from a boat. We were traveling, and uh, all of a sudden, we just were not. Uh... Actually, because I, I will so actually, so will they know where the spell came from? Neither if it was not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't really understand. Uh, someone has uh, used some uh, arcane wickedness on us, and uh, we have been teleported here. My apologies, ma. Do not worry, I am from the Order of the White Flame. Do we have credentials to make that sure? Because you look like you are no. Who are you people even? Why? No, we don't know each other, I just know my friend Jay. Uh, we just met this uh, other people uh, just a couple of days ago. Uh, Mr. Taylor? I'll kind of like point out to him. Salutations. Yes, and this is Lady Jane. Just, just Jane, 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 not Lady Jane. Just Lady. Oh, just sorry, Jane. Jane's fine. Jane. Look, girl, we don't know what's going on. We're just here out of the blue. We don't know anything about that body. Can we just go? I still don't even know who you are. Are you even citizens of Transit? Who are you? Oh, I still no. don't have names. Uh, my name is uh, Sir Sol. And where are you from, Sir Sol, if I may ask? I am from... Uh... <laughs> I'm so sorry. We're from, I... We're yes. from Borrelia. Yes, from Borrelia. Uh, I... pre previously, before you said that sentence, the guards look like they are kind of holding down. As immediately as you said it, they put their weapons back against, it, against you. And I'll whisper to Sol, you done playing negotiator, lad? Oh, I think the negotiations are not going well. <laughs> um, S Sam, Sam, do you have, can you, can you do something here? Do you expect me? Okay, honestly, we've been accidentally put here. We weren't meant to. That's all there is. And I think we should... Leave you, your investigate. You leave you all to your investigation, and we'll just walk away. How's that sound? Yeah, you will walk away, but not freely. Guards, and you see, they are surrounding you right now. Uh, I, I'm not a threat. I promise you. Look, I can't. I, I promise you, I, I'm not a threat. Yeah, the same. We have nothing to worry about. Uh, apologies. Uh... We can help, perhaps, with the investigation. And I'll kind of, like, look towards, move towards the body just to have a look. Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't recommend touching anybody. You yeah, want to keep so, it intact. So stay away from the body, please. 
Uh, I don't even have any weapons on me. You could check. I promise. I, I got some protective weapons, but you know, it gets dangerous out. So, I I'm not gonna lie about that. So, you are all just not gonna resist, I assume, right? I mean, uh, no, I'm not. I know. No. Will already is like, the no. The second mm -hmm. someone touches me, I will shake them off of me a little bit. Uh, how many guards are there? There's there a were lot of 20, guards. and there yeah. are now six surrounding you, being like, yeah, yeah you're coming with yeah, us. Yeah, no. So we're we're just... definitely not. We just hey, uh, well, it we, was we were just people for some reason, yeah. We were just like randomly body. moved here against our will, you know? It's just how it is. So I can get us out of this. Oh, I don't think we... I mean, we haven't done anything. We have the truth in our side. You have nothing to worry. And at this point, the boat that was once directed towards the boat where you were once on uh, will arrive back. And from it, uh, you see another figure, in this time in a purple type of rope, uh, with like a kind of book hanging around his uh, belt. He will walk up to you guys and be like, you uh, look like the description of what I just got. Um, yeah? Got something to say? Any of you? We have been teleported uh, against our will, sir. Captain. Morel. Really? Because the captain really made it sound like you did this on purpose to get away from him. That's what oh. I got from the conversation. I just had a few you seconds... But we can ask him again if he wants he arrives at the small harbor, yes, if you please, like. Uh, let's do that. We should all talk together and sort out the problem. Well, I can we... do this much easier. So, if any of you resist, I assume you are guilty. And he will grab his book, flip through some pages, and you see him cast an arcane magic around him. And, oh, you are allowed to make a, I believe, charisma saving throw, but he will cast Zone of Truth. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I mean, I'm. I mean, I'll still attempt to make the saving throw. Just out of what was the save? Same. Is it a charisma saving throw? I believe it's charisma. Yeah, it should yeah. be for a zone of truth. It Let sounds like. Check. Um, can I do an Arcana check bef as he's casting the spell just before that? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, just to. Uh, see let me see. Like he mentioned, he doesn't want you to. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, with the seven you won't. Yeah, have a clue what he's doing. <laughs> like you don't have to make the roll if you I just are fine with the so zone of truth. Uh, I mean, that is my save. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I will. Uh, <laughs> that's one to the mid. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. 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 I mean, as I. Got the one, boys. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> did, he, oh, did he? Did he actually <laughs> mention? what he's doing or he's just doing it no he's, he's just, just doing, doing it. it so then yeah. i will resist it because i wouldn't know what he's doing yeah, you know so, yeah, so i'll try i mean he's got me already I'm well, no worry. <laughs> With that too, he's fucking got me too he's the fact damn it wow. the one time i that could have used hard. a high roll yeah sorry man Not that's this fine time. all right well However he wants to play it, I'll just be like, okay, not gonna lie, a little surprised and thrown off by that. Yeah, but what, what did you just, have it. what did you just do on us? We didn't give you any consent to, for you to do that. Neither give you the difficult consent to teleport around here, you know, we have fair restriction on against magical stuff over here, you know, because, like, well... We, we, just, we just told th this gentleman here that we don't know how we got here. Ain't that right, yes. everyone? That's, that's right. I don't know how they teleported here. <clears throat> well, yeah. that's why I want to cast this spell on you and ask all of you personally. Does any of you know how you got here? No. Uh, fuck. No. All right. No, 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 no. I'll leave my hand. Well, I don't. He's going to, like, with his throat struggle. Ah. You all right, then? I, I, got, I, got, I got a hat. I got a good hat. I won this in a dice game. Guy didn't like it when I used it. Didn't turn out how it planned. Jeez. Yeah, what we, are we, you saying? We can see that you got I a hat, mean, Will. What's going on? My hat is how we got here, Jane. What? I don't understand uh, what you're saying. My hat is how we teleported here, Jane. 
That is how we got here. This is me answering the question. Why am I talking? Why do I need to be answering this question? My hat is how we got here to answer your question. You see that most of the guards around you are starting to get really confused by this conversation that's happening right now. <laughs> the, the, the exact question was, how did you like? How did you teleport over here? Or do any of you know? Which is Will saying the truth, which is my hat teleported us here. Uh, we're not technically with them. Yes, we are uh, independent. We are not a group. We are uh, just friends uh, or friends. And, uh, we're not even... Adamant. I, I was here for a nice boat yeah. ride, then they all accosted me. Yeah, that's a lie right there. We didn't accost you or anything. We just saw I you. I can't lie. I don't lie. There's no reason to. No, I'm not so anymore. I'm sorry. What was your name again? Ray... No. Smith? No. What was it? Sam Taylor, right? Yes, Mr. Taylor. I, I, will an, I, will, I will answer before you do, but not because I know that you are lying, just because I'm trying you to be helpful. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, at this point, like everyone around you started really to look really confused, but the moment the purple rope on, he was like, oh. Has any one of you ever been here before? No. Nope. No. Is anyone no. with you, do any of you have knowledge about the laws we have in this place or no? No. 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 Please, you may inform us. We would like to be uh, aware of what's happening in this uh, civilized place. And you'll see the one with the repos being like, like, like really, he's looking really for confused and frustrated. Like, from dude, this is so wasting so much of my time. Come on, and the purple uh, rope on, like, fine, come, come with me. We, we'll have a little talk, okay? Just, just follow me through the light. If it helps the situation, we, I really don't know anything about the dead body there. That was not anything that I yeah, know. Yeah, about. it was yeah. already here before you arrived. We, we are aware of that. Steve. We can help, uh, said Will. Well, we could. We, don't have time to help. we gotta. Oh. We could. We could make things easier. Let's talk first. Let's head to work, make quarters, okay? Just no, follow good. me. Sounds and, good. Uh, he will head towards the lighthouse, and uh, he will go through all the most, all the way to the top floor. I like will. it's like one level layer behind being on top of the. Uh, like highest level of uh, the lighthouse, which is also the place where you can actually see the crystal. Hmm. As we uh, being in her place, as we're going up, I'm going to um, like very subtly punch Will in the arm, which is going to hurt because it's with my prosthetic arm, and I'll be like, "For fuck, what, what the fuck are you doing? What, what, well, what? I, I'm your man. I can't tell you all my tricks. Yeah, damn it! You, you better get us out of this one." You got us into it. I mean, to be fair, the alternative was, I'm assuming him and the pirate captain, so... Kind of loaded deck cards here. You need to stop <sighs> panicking. That's what you do. You panic and then you just do things. Just stop it. Yeah, because if I don't do things, then things happen. But things don't happen. They don't need to happen. Things happen regardless whether we do or don't, and I might as well do. All right. Well, you keep doing wow. that. Wow. By, by the way, ow. Well, we are walking up as well. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, I will. Uh, Sol will remove his glove uh, and break a nail off and give it to Jay Feather. She will know what it means and mm, just she and would say, know. in case you get separate, we get separated. And I'll give you the little itty token. <laughs> I'll put it in my little component or my little uh, pouch of herbals, uh, herbs and remedies. Disgusting. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and telepathically, in the moment she he has it, uh, I will say telepathically, I'm starting to be quite concerned uh, with these people. I don't know where we are going. I am quite nervous. Uh, and I'm sorry, we should have left perhaps, but now it's too late. We have to just 
stay here and answer more questions. And I'll be telepathically. It's it's fine. I just I just really want to find Misty Song and go back home. But me too. While we're here, we might as well. I guess we need some funds. Maybe we could get money out of this or something. You know, money is not uh, my concern, but uh, I will help you. We do need money to eat and do different stuff. I don't... I don't trust those three, though. Oh, they're okay. I'm not sure about their performer, but uh, the others are okay. He seems gullible enough. Maybe we could trust him. Like, we could at least trick him or something. He's not that great at pulling his own tricks. Yes, I mean, uh, if magic uh, is not allowed, uh, I haven't seen him casting any magic, so I don't know what they are talking about. I haven't seen much either, buddy. Um, for now, let's just figure out what's going on with this body. I'm pretty good with medicine, so... Maybe if they let me check the body, I can see what, how he died. All right. I mean, if things get really bad, you can always use the blind card. It's worked for us in the past. You know I don't like that. I know, but just as a last resource. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead. Clonk, clonk, clonk. Armor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you walk up the stairs and... Uh... Inevitably, you'll uh, enter one of his offices. And uh, before we go any further, I think we should go on a little break. Yeah, sure. Like a good idea. Yeah, that sounds fun. Then, uh... Oh, man. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> yeah, man. Chaos. My <laughs> way. I need the sandbox uh, oh, game. It's already God. going off tracks. I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, Mark. I... No need you to fucked up the ideas. tutorial. Good job, man. I'm proud of you. <laughs> That's what the MD is for. <laughs> induction, yeah, the induction was completely destroyed. <laughs> nice. oh. So good. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll see, see you shortly, right? See, we'll yeah. see you in a second. See okay. you in a second. All right.
Hey. Welcome Hi. back. Um, Hi. We will uh, jump straight back. Um, you are heading into the office of the one with the purple robe. Mm -hmm. um, he will uh, go to his office and there are enough chairs or st uh, sitting there. Like, please sit and we will discuss this very briefly. Um, I was going to take a seat. Yeah, I'll see it as well. I will see it. Blum myself. I'll leave it. Blum it myself. I'll, uh, I'll stand if that's all right. Sure, I, I really don't care. Um, so I'm just curious. Why are you here? What is your meaning? Why, why did you come to this place? Like, you still haven't clarified yet. Well, if you are um, from this place, are you like trying to seek new shelter, or who are you? Uh, well, I, I mean, instead of rehashing the names, uh, just to summarize it, um, I don't know about the rest of these fine folks, but um, personally, I'm uh, here to seek out fortune. And that's telling the truth, yeah. Uh, sure, and the rest. I'm here looking for... Our mission is our own, I'll say. And interrupt, yeah. Jay. Um, I'm specifically looking for someone who's wronged me. If you if you know him, Melville Malorian? Do I, I see any of. change in his face? Great. Gotcha. Sorry, man. Okay, I'm just gonna say it's toughly right now. You are a bit screwed. Um... Yeah, especially you're no no citizens of this place. And you've been caught casting magic without authorization. That meaning, yeah. normally, you will probably not see the sunlight until you know, next fall. Well, only one of us casted magic. And yeah. technically it wasn't on the continent, it was outside of the continent. So I, I, I didn't do it on the land, I did it on the sea. Technically. Yeah, but I think you... <clears throat> misunderstand me we don't know or we are in a bit of trouble right now we are a bit understaffed and right now I know the lawmaster he will just put you in jail all of you he doesn't even look a second time why didn't you just start off with you're looking for people to do work we, we would have been doing willing to do work we could have avoided this whole hassle of hostility we, we have be because well someone over here wasn't really you know speaking the truth well, you know, I, did it after, you will. I did it after the circle. Yeah, exactly. After. That's the whole point. Right now, you all look, you know, kind of guilty. No, I, I, I have no intention of knowing who you are or what you're going to do with this place. I don't care. All I know is that you are now a piece of work that I have to deal with. Oh, okay. Well, and, what, well, what? we can do this very easily or we can, you know, do it the hard way and, you know, all of us will be either happy or unhappy. What's the what's the work you have in mind? Maybe we, maybe that's better. Well, right now, um, well, actually, let me introduce myself. I am the war mage called Leander. I am one of the a few war mages that are counseling the city, uh, making sure it's safe from you know magic users from normally. So in that case, um, yeah. There are a few things we can do right here. Um, the whole shenanigans at the harbor, we, we can forget that. But... That's great. Yeah, but the only but over here is is that I need some sort of writing that says, you know, they are in the clear, but I can just make a, a paper and, you know, get away with it. I actually need, you know, a name underneath it. Oh. You have so, been very kind. Uh... I'm not being kind, I'm being very lazy. I don't want to do extra paperwork of you, no. The arrest and reporting of what I saw, blah, 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 blah. So this is what I have in mind. I can accept all of you as my apprentices, you know? You will be working underneath me. And, well, all I need to do is, you know, sign one paper and you're basically off. Problem is, a lot of people saw you being guilty. So we need to change that. If you get what I, I mean. Can I pick up on if he's lying, if his voice sounds shaky? Sure. Make an uh, insight. 
Yeah, I will. I would like to. I'll be concerned. I will also be doing that yeah, while I'm saying. Join the what? I'm just going to. What's that? Do you have in mind? Fuck. Oh, oh, natural one. Damn it. Minus I'll, one. I'll, I'll one. A zero. zero. A zero for me. That's a negative one. Yeah. Do the thing more. <laughs> we are tie We're tying now. Three for three. Ooh. You were doing so good at the beginning. What's what's go What's going on? <laughs> I think we're going to get to 100 by the end of this session. Um, well, Sir Sol, you will get nothing out of it. Um, yeah. Malcolm Leader, okay. but Jay Feather, you will hear the sincerity of his voice that he clearly just, he, he just wants this to, to be dealt with and, you know, carry on with his day to day jobs that he has to do still. I'll spit it yeah. out then. We, we might have gotten off on the wrong foot, but we're willing to help you. Well, then the only thing I need to know, we have no now an a claim on you that you are you no know, hostile to this country. But if I can make another claim saying, no, these guys are good, like, for example, you help someone out, you know, in some certain way. If you can just do something small that says like, hey, we are good guys, I can put that a claim against them. So oh, I... we can walk I... out of this place if I you get what I mean. Then I don't have to do all the trouble, and you guys just have to do a simple task and face no jail time. I got five gold I can donate to a charity? No, it's not going to be like I can donate. I need you actually being physical, useful to this country. Well, clearly you in, you, uh, oh. you got something on your mind. You might as well just say what it is that you want us to do, because uh, you're telling us what the consequences are. Really doesn't matter, because we're in trouble, right? So, go ahead. Tell us what you want oh. us to do, and we'll get it done. Yes, Mr. Armage. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, for example, the murder at the harbor. Try to help them. Maybe find some clues. Maybe help them over there. There are, you know, the United Forge. There are basically uh, base smiths and mages. They work together. They always need some help with some other bullshit I don't care about. Maybe help them. Mm -hmm. There's a mercenary guild. They always have some desk up ahead. So you seem like capable fighters. Just be useful. I don't care what you do. Just make it a small little thing I can write down and be done with it. <clears throat> okay? So when you say magic legal, does that also apply during the investigation? <laughs> like if we do, let's just say, best case scenario, we run into a person who... Clearly is a lawbreaker, and uh, clearly they'll use magic. Are, are we allowed to retaliate, or is that too far? Not yet, but if you sign this paper that you know, says, I'm an apprentice of Leander, yes, you could. So well. he will give you all the paper in front of you and a pen. All you have to do is sign this, accept that you're my apprentice, and then you Great. can whip this around being like, see, we are allowed to cast magic. It's all under Leander's yeah. name. That's very really useful. Gonna... I am uh, some kind of uh, spell user myself, uh, of minor spark, but uh, I can do things as well. And oh, I don't care if you can cost any magic or not, I need all of you to sign this. Uh, I'll look at the paper and I'll start reading it like... Uh... It's just a very formally writing paper that says, yeah. by this you are announced, blah, 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 blah. No. Herby. One of the uh, um, apprentices of Leon. Yeah, yeah, you get the point. Uh, I'd, I'd like to try and sign it, the la uh, be the last to sign it. Could I, I, could I, I maybe, one, right? yeah, could I maybe try to do some kind of history check to see if I remember this is a procedure that is normal or I've heard of? That's the yeah, you can all make a history check to see if you are familiar with some of the laws from... Mm. I don't, I, I don't, I don't yeah. trust the dice spot, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> History, you said? Oh, History. investigation. History, yeah? Okay. Which is... I'm not gonna roll. Not a bad roll. Oh, come on! Another natural Another one. one. <laughs> okay. Oh, more. No. Damn. You're we doing so great. Yeah, the dice are betraying me. <laughs> I think it's this time to change the dice. You merely adopted the dice. I was born <laughs> with them, molded <laughs> by them. Sorry, Alia. Well, only Will will. No, that, uh, oh, well. yeah, that <laughs> magic has been restricted around here since, like, after the ruination when this country was built, when they 
tried to set it up, the Emperor actually Ooh. made it sure that no one is allowed to cast magic because, well, what happened was because of mages and he wanted to prevent anything like that ever happening again. So. Yeah. I never got in formal education, but uh, I guess I should have known that this is the result. All right, my apologies to you very much, Mr. Mage. And he'll just sign it and keep reading and just keep signing as he needs to. As Will signs it, I'll take that as a, she takes it as a confirmation to sign it as well. But when she does, she uses her prosthetic hand and you can see the finger kind of little twitching and she kind of looks at it for a bit and then grips the pen and you see a little de indentation on the pen and then she just kind of signs it and then she kind of gives it back. The paper goes around. I will look at Jay Feather uh, first to see uh, and kind of like say telepathically, I guess we don't have a choice here. We have to agree to this for now to keep up appearances. Jay I'll look at him. Okay, so I will do like a child, you know, I will cover my name without having any remorse on it and bring the paper as close as me as possible. And I will write Lord Solarian Sunderberg and sign it like with a big flur, flourish kind of signature. You know? Nice name. All right. Ooh, can you play some uh, music uh, in the background? Oh, yeah. I, whoops. <laughs> Once the uh, papers in front of you, you to DM me on roll twenty. Leave me alone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Once Jay Feather has the paper in front of him, he's just gonna uh, he's just gonna put like a line across. That's good enough. I mean, yeah, if you're if you're a dot to write in a prescription, um, <laughs> and I'll I'll just write the fake name I've given everyone else. Can I make an insight on J Feather to see if it's if the person is refusing to write or if they cannot write? Yes. Okay. J Feather. Oh, I love this song. I hear Very I nice. here I come for you. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I changed all the names, so I don't know actually. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, you will pick you out by the way you're holding the pen and everything. Like, I, you know, the struggle of not knowing is probably what you get from it. Okay. That's it. Go ahead. It's good enough. We. I'll, um, I'll just hold the paper out for the next person to grab. Then Malcolm is last. Uh, yeah, he'll grab it very quickly, just as long as this gets me out of this situation, signs it, hands it back off. He will look at it and he, uh, like it's out of no nothing, he will pull out five uh, different copies of it. Like he just copies it from his hand and he will give you the five other ones. These ones are for you, just whip them around if you no know, cards give you problems, they will. But don't freaking abuse it because I will throw you in jail for the rest of your freaking lives, okay? As I look at the paper, does it only oh, have okay. my signature, my name on yes, it? Yes, only okay. yours. Okay. But he has this one version of all of them. The oh, five names. Okay, yeah. Then. All right. Well, I guess uh, first things first. Would we be allowed to go back to the scene to see the body? You got to work from somewhere. Like, I, like I said, I don't give a crap okay, what you do. Okay, I if you think, come back to me. Uh, gentlemen, hmm. let's just leave the uh, leave the um, mage. Here, uh, thank you. Bye. Yeah, just bye. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you uh, sir. Uh, you have nothing to be concerned about. Uh, as you know, in my order, uh, honor is as important as life. So we will honor your deal. And I'll kind of bow. <sighs> sure, just like I said, and he instantly grabs some more paperwork just, and he will start um, writing on it. And he will ignore just the shit to walk out, out of at this point. I was just going to walk off immediately. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I guess we should go start with the body. I'm, I, I'm pretty good with, um, with herbal, uh, herbs and remedies. And, uh, maybe I could figure out what happened to the body. Okay. I, I think it was pretty clear what happened. I think, uh, I should change the way I look now that we are authorized to cast magic. As he said that everyone saw us. And I will uh, 
you will see that uh, as I say that I will hold my little uh, pendant like a jade pendant that I wear on top of the underneath the armor you see only the red ribbon on it mm -hmm. and I'll take it out hold and then concentrate and then out of the sudden behind me almost like a you see like a twilight materialize like it starts rotating and I see dust kind of engulfs me and then I will make myself look like a, a human uh, kind of like blonde long hair uh different like a silvery armor just looks completely different to me in terms of, like he's much lighter and more like a yeah like a paladin kind of looking character and i'll keep walking all right well i think it's pretty clear what happened to that body okay. i didn't get a good look at it and so oh, wow magic great that's a neat trick don't have to figure that one out yeah uh, or sometimes. Thank you. So, Sam, yeah, Sam I, why I, don't why why don't you tell us what happened to 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 the body, Sam? It, it quit. It gave up. It it left. I don't think. I think we all know healing has been the same for quite a few eons. No ma no medicine's gonna bring that thing back. I don't I'm think we're thinking about. Yeah, we're not thinking about bringing it back. Uh, it's. I'm just gonna investigate the body and. See what what brought that that life to an end. You seem to All be right. you seem to be a, in a, in a in a in a hurry, Sam T Taylor. Was it again? Well, yeah, we're not. I said people. earlier. You can trust at least the two of us. You, I'm very adamant. One of you fucked up, fucked us up while getting off that boat, and well, yeah, I want did. to figure out which one of you it was. Because I don't like, I don't like knowing, I don't like it when people are fucking with me without my permission or knowledge. Well, if you haven't figured it out by now, then you must be really stupid. Yes, uh, I agree with that, with what the gentleman is saying. Uh, Mr. Will, uh, it will be best if you abstain from using the magic that affects our honor and glory. That was not very honorable of you. Eh, I'm not the honorable sort, but also, to be fair, you would you prefer that I just left you with the pirate captain? I mean, I was willing to pay. That was the deal. Uh, we make deals, you pay people back. Uh, that's the way things should be. We should follow the rules of morale at all times. I, I will yeah. also say I was very willing for you to leave me. Alright, I'll keep that note next time. But... Can't take back what happened. And as for without your permission, bit, I did ask you, Tech. Well, you didn't truly, truly reveal the whole information. You concealed some of it. That's not real. The, the way the hat works, gentlemen, it That's needs your permission. That. So, even if you were suspicious, the fact you did and that you're here right now means you were still willing. So, the way I see it, it's Less of the magic line, it's all you lying to yourselves. But enough about me. Uh, we need to see a dead body and possibly uh, catching us a uh, criminal. Yes. I'll, I'll look uh, back at uh, a Sam Taylor uh, mm. and kind of like I try, you know, like very slowly to try to pat him on the shoulder to see how he reacts if he allows me. I, I'm kind of thinking that he's gonna freak out and, and move out of the way, but I'll try slowly, like to reassure he, him. He will. He will try and grab your arm beforehand. Oh, oh I'll kind of like. Uh, I, I, I thought you might react like that. I just want to reassure you. Uh, you... No, no touching. Oh, fair enough. I, I understand. You feel awkward, actually. Uh, look, uh, I'll touch um, the wall uh, just because you, you'll notice, you also notice uh, very, just very cold hands. Very bad circulation. Okay. Uh, I look at. Ah, uh... oh, God, I forgot your character's name. I'm sorry, it's the first day. Jane, that's I hear that she's gonna say something. Oh, I said, uh, uh, no, that means no touching me either. She kind of looks at him. Oh, no worry, that will not be honorable. Uh, and I'll really make an effort, you see, I want to say Lady Jane, but I'll go like, Jane! <laughs> Does he still sound like that with the... With the yeah, <laughs> that's the thing, because I, I, I put a face on top of my armor, pretty much. <laughs> Fair enough, his chances. 
<laughs> well, guess uh, guess we're stuck together, aren't we now? Ain't this a fun bunch of people right here? Shall we go? Just, just for now. Yeah, let's let's go find the body. Right. Yeah, let's go. I will. Uh... I will use. I'll be using Tiara, Kitiara to look for me. So I will just put the little hummingbird on my shoulder at the moment. So it's just posing there. Cool. Um. Yeah, we'll talk out of the light tower, and uh, it's probably around a 300, 400 feet walk before uh, we get to the harbor part where the dead body was located. Mm -hmm. Um. Once you arrive, most of the guards have already left. There are only two left. And there's one other guy sitting uh, slightly further down uh, down at the boxes, and the guy with the red robes on uh, or is still around, and he will look at you frustrated, and be like, "Oh, they, what, what, what do they want?" You no. Know? And it he's, will he's, just pull out immediately the paperwork in case while he's looking at him. Why are you still even walking around? Oh, that son of a bitch. I knew this was gonna happen. And he will immediately take it out of his hand. We are here to help. And I'll kind of just make my way and pass him and kind of go towards the body. No one's, yes. no one's touched the body, right? Well, of course not. We're not idiots. We prefer to let for that specialist look at it, but you guys are specialists. You weren't meant to say. To be fair, we caught yeah. you by surprise. Uh, Jay Feather's gonna start digging into his. Um component or his uh herbal pouch and he's gonna pull out a uh i sorry. thought you meant to go say dead body <laughs> i'm gonna dick around it <laughs> sorry no, go uh, ahead. he's gonna reach in and pull out uh a wad of uh a wad of leaves and he's gonna unfurl it and just oh i hate the way these taste and uh i'm going to cast enhance ability but i will consume um a mix of uh, bitter and horrible tasting herbs of Cherryville and Burdock Root. And uh, I will give myself... Uh, uh, what I know... Uh, you know what? I'm just going to give myself uh, Fox's Cunning. I have advantage on intelligence checks. I'll get close. We I Kitiara. ignore on. the rolled dice. That did not happen. Sure, we all equal ignore it. Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, the guy in the red robes will also be starting to talk. Okay, well, if you're going to help me, then I guess I should inform you with what we know so far. Mm -hmm. um, that be my there, hand of you. Sure. Over there, <laughs> you see that's uh, Vice Inspector uh, Darion. He and uh, the main inspector who's lying dead on the ground right here. Give me a moment to make sure I get this name right. And uh, I never got your name. What is it? Give me one second to get up the right okay. page. Yeah. No worries. So there is two people. Uh, there is a wizard and there is an inspector. Yeah. Or, or are there, I think there's a couple uh, more. Because he said the vice inspector and then he works with the inspector. Yeah, and you have the wizard the in the red robes. He hasn't introduced himself. Uh, That's what Will was asking. Uh, I haven't gotten your name either. Just, we're going to be working together. So there is an inspector. I guess so. inspector. My name is State Mage uh, Draven. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Tate. Likewise. Tate. What's Draven. his name again? Sorry. Draven. Draven. I will. Uh... R A. Okay. Boom. Yeah, B R A V. Uh, yeah. Um. Darian we will also tell you, um, okay, so this is kind of what happened, apparently. Um, so yeah, you have the junior detector, and uh, he was together with the senior detective, and he will point to the dead body. This was Terry Seinfeld. He was um, actually investigating the serial killings that have been taking place lately. Um, we are kind of concerned that you know, this might be one of you know, his killings again. We are not sure. But from all we know is that um, yeah, when his partner checked out the boxes, because apparently it was some stolen weapons or anything, when he was going to check it out, Terry got shot in the back with a crossbow. And, well, you can see still the arrow stuck in his neck. 
Um, you you yeah. uh, you said a, uh, you said a uh, serial killer. Um, okay, uh, that's one of those people that go around killing for no reason, right? Yep, that yeah. same so, thing. Uh, yeah. Jane, in well, other words, just. All right. Uh, is this how the uh, serial killer normally kills their uh, victims? No, most of the, of the time there are more thought in it, but the previous detective that was investigating the serial killer as well also got killed. Also in the same way with, you know, a crossbow bolt. I would take that as a warning. Stop chasing me. Yeah, but how do we then stop killing the killings that he's doing? You, well, you get the point, You right? could also interpret it as the fact that they're crossbow bolts and the fact that their backs are turned. This tells me that maybe they knew the gentleman. Not that they knew that he was a serial killer, but that they may know him, they may have talked to him, may have gained their trust, and then when their backs were turned, he may have just shot them. He may have not even been shot right here, he may have been shot somewhere else and then placed here as a warning, but that tells me he's someone who's might be good at gaining trust of the the law around here. While they're talking, can I yeah. investigate yeah. the body, uh, s smell the crossbow bolt for any sort of poisons... Uh, feel around for any parts of the body for any other wounds other than the crossbow bolt, bruising, broken bones. Yeah, and I will uh, maybe, if that's okay with you, could uh, Kitty Ara help uh, Jay Feather? Actually, he's got a rest, so maybe she he, he, she will do her own check. Uh, just uh, I, was, yeah, I was also going to check as well. You're allowed to check yourself, you're not allowed to help anyone. Oh, yeah. yeah it's Roll the... yourself. Yes. Okay. okay. I will, uh, yeah, I'll look at it the same way as uh, Jay Feather is looking, but in a way that, uh, in a confrontation way. So I will look for also if this person had ever been in a fight, has got any broken bones, and um, yeah, have they been in a recent fight or anything like that as well. Um, I keep talking. Uh, do you want us to do investigation or perception checks? Uh, investigation. I'm also, gonna add a. Moment, I will give you the map. Yeah, I'm going to add another d6 to that. i going to use my last of that for the day. Just because I want to roll higher than a 12 today. <laughs> Yikes. Shit. I'm not doing high. Another okay. one. Okay, a 13. Give me one moment, I will get the map for you, Daddy. It's... Oh, wait, somebody got a 15. I wasn't expecting to be <laughs> get this far in the campaign in day one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right. To be honest, that is fair. You, you know us, that's fair. We jump the tutorial. The wild old yep. skip, skip. Uh, it's, it's, you skip the, the stop button. Speed runs threats. <laughs> up down, up down, left, right, left, right. Yeah. A B A B. Yeah, skip. Yeah, skip. Games don't quit. We, we should join them this uh, <laughs> summer. Uh, and okay. actually, just for my for for the sake of this, just so I don't have to speak through the gun, I will leave my helmet uh, part that is actually openable now that uh, that I have a fake this guy's face on. Uh, so hopefully it won't be visible, uh, and then I will speak with my normal voice for now for the time being. Okay. Can you all see the map now, or yeah. yes? Do you want yeah. me? Nice. Do you want me to display it on? Yeah, just uh, All right. I think it would be nice for the stream to know as well. Boom. 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 Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, we'll just this dark. is uh, the dead body over here. That's a bit dark, right? There in the center. Um, oh, oh, oh. Why are you small? Why am I small? Mark, your internet. Boop. Did Mark cut out for anybody? Uh, just a little bit. Just for a little uh, bit. I'm back. Back again. Okay. All right. It was Andy and Luke oh. yesterday. Yeah, that's Mark. way too long. No. That's way too long. I'm sorry. Okay, the investigation. Damn, your guys suck. Okay. Um, I think that's one thing, though. <laughs> At least something, yeah. Okay. Um, I, I, got, I got a 13. Sure, sure, sure. It's still shit, but I got it. At least it's higher than all the other rolls I've made today. By one. Oh wow, that looks so cool, actually. I'll, uh, so? I wasted all my luck in yesterday's while you, campaign. While you, while you checking that, I'll, uh, while um, Jay Feather's kind of looking, um, I'll kind of kneel down as well, and I'll just be like, 
You know, so what are you looking for? You, you been around dead bodies before? Um, yes. Um, looking for any sort of indications that maybe the crossbow bolt was the first thing that killed him. Um, why are you curious if I've been around dead bodies? You had no hesitation walking up to it and start looking at it. It just seemed a bit, uh, normally people just, uh, get fright. Uh, uh, you know, it, it's just a natural, uh, it's just a natural thing. Unless you're like, like watching a fight, then uh, people get excited about locking someone out. Or if it's a fight to the death, which uh, I've never been part of, but I've heard about him. I've never cared for fighting. Um, I, I, I came from a clan back in uh, Bulgaria. Yeah, they didn't like when you said that. Oh, when Saul said that, where you're from. Um, I... Why would that be? I, Is there something going on with the countries? The continent? I would assume so. I, I was never really involved with any sort of political parties or anything like that. I, um, like I said, I just came from a small clan in a forest, uh, actually close to where uh, Sol used to live. Uh, my clan was uh, called Star Clan. Star Clan. All right. <laughs> Sounds nice. I was just, uh, I used to be their healer. All right. You okay, yeah. though? Yeah, I heard while we were walking up that you were, you were looking for someone. I didn't catch the name, though. Uh, the name's Misty Song. Have you heard of her? Have you seen her? Anything? No, no, no. No, I never heard of that. I never heard of that name before, but, um... I'll keep, I'll keep an eye. I'll, I'll keep an ear out for it. And uh, if I ever hear her name, I'll, I'll tell you. And you know if what? You... We are, we're going to be stuck together for a while, it seems like. Maybe we can teach a thing, a few things to each other, you know? Yeah, I could. I mean, it seems like you know you what you're doing with the bit... body, so. Yeah. Uh, I might have judged you too quick based on your friend over there. Maybe no, you're not so bad. no, no. You probably judge me, right? I'm like an open book. Mm. Too bad that one over there isn't. And I'll kind of flick my uh, the corner of my hood or my head toward um, Sam. You, you, you know what? <laughs> I think the same thing. He's pretty shady. I don't trust him at all, but truth be told, if I were in a fight with him, I'd probably take him. So... You're safe with me, don't worry. That's good to know. We've got two strong fighters here now. You and Sol. I look at uh, Jane and say, Yes, it's good we have found each other. Um, well, I I don't see anything on the body. Uh, what do you see? And oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll be looking to tell for... you what you will be finding. Okay. Yeah, if it's okay, I'll be focusing like similar. I'm not really that good into things that I will medicine wise, but based on my fighting skills and stuff like that, I will be looking like for broken yeah. bodies and if kind of previous, maybe I'll be on that kind of way as well. I can. Yeah, okay, this is what you will find. Um, the crossbow bolts isn't the usually military ones. This one seems to be thinner and longer than usuals. Mm -hmm. So that's probably something that you will note like, hey, this is probably homemade or made specially by someone, but they're knowing, you know, they didn't sign it or anything. Okay. Um, there's also a guard over there that's still been sticking around says that will claim that the, uh, there's a sing uh, the same type of one in the evidence room at the police station or at the guard station. 
uh, that was also used on the previous investigator that what was murdered probably by the serial killer. What they assume. Um, the the bolt isn't poisoned. It's just a regular one. It went straight through its mm -hmm. neck. Um, you will also find a document onto him oh. that says official report requested item found and a Larson handgun found in a wooden box at the docks missing item found and what was the name please a Larson handgun I can yeah please in the chat also, um, because I'm unprepared and I don't have enough tokens ready, um, I will use Jogu over here. He will be play the. <laughs> he will play. The... <laughs> Excuse me, I will be more prepared next time. No, that's, so on that's on me. That's on you. That's on. That's on me. That's not on you. <laughs> no, don't um, worry about it. That's that's not on you at all. So Lan Lance Larson handgun was. Mm -hmm. uh, that was. Yeah. The, the item or... found uh, on the document that was what they were looking for over here oh, at the docks. Okay, okay. So the it's owner of the the owner of the of the item was this Larson handgun, yeah? Well they are looking for a Larson handgun. You don't know anything okay, else. That's okay, okay. all what the report says. That's okay, what okay. you can ask. Um I'm going to uh <laughs> I'm going to uh, are we okay to uh have have we been touching the body? Uh, no one has touched it yet, but go ahead. Uh, uh, you I are the experts here. It's all under your I'll name. Like, you know, uh, if you don't, if you don't want to directly touch it, I could just mage hand the crossbow bolt and not get any sort of no, no, residue no. of us. Keep keep that in there. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, dead dead inspector. Uh, uh, so, um, do you mind if you can just lift the body in the same direction that it is? Uh, I just want to see where this crossbow bolt could have been fired from. Now. Um, like try uh, yeah if you pull up the body it will look like it will should have come from the back so it's from this general direction oh okay Do these bolts look like they shoot from a a long cross um, one of those bigger crossbows or a, a smaller hand crossbows how should I know? It's they could even use a blow dart if they were that proficient oh. with it. I don't know how they did it. That's why you are here, right? You are supposed and, to do uh, these kind of things. Uh, what um, Will will do? Will will pull out his own light crossbow as a comparison and be like, "Do you mean like this?" They're completely different. This mm. one's this one's yes. more thinner. These yeah. ones are not the same. So maybe a hand crossbow. All right. So the person snuck up behind them from that direction, shot him, the inspector. The question is, where was the other inspector, the senior inspector? Apparently, he, well, you can ask him himself, but from what I have gathered, he was looking into the box that was supposed to have the handgun in it. And that uh -oh. moment when he looked into it, he got shot. Um, what else we also know is he immediately turned around and saw no one. But, like, a few seconds later, after, uh, you know, he obviously screamed and called for help, a lady came out uh, from the gate over here, like, five, ten seconds later, and she claimed to have seen no one. Hmm. Oh, I love this thing, it's so Sherlock Holmes, I'm loving it. <laughs> oh, where, um, where's the lady now? Oh, we have written down her details. Uh, we can always check back up to her again. She uh, apparently owns uh, a small woodworking shop together with her mm. husband. It's a bit uh, southwest of the town. It's uh, not that far from the old harbor. Has anyone gone and uh, spoken to her since? Well, we did. And then after that, we don't know. We let her go. She didn't know anything more. She didn't saw anyone. She spoke the truth. Nothing else we could get out of her. Oh, you did one of those uh, magic things to make her speak the truth? Oh, obviously. How else are you ever going to figure out uh, okay. a master in disguise would probably, you know, be able she to accept us? To that was uh, very impressive. Um, here in uh, the mansion of the boxes again, um, uh, thinking I'm not easily shot at, uh, Malcolm will go over and start investigating the boxes. 
Yeah, uh, that's when you move okay. uh, we'll, we'll Just toss it around. Yep. Uh, when you go to it, it's locked at the moment. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't suppose you know how to open this? Um, well... It, this, I'll uh, uh, say to the guard, do you have a key or should I? No, I have it. Uh, Jogu yep. will come up with you. <laughs> Can I see from this distance? Okay. Can I see if there's some sort of trap on it? What I'm thinking, she kind of looks at the direction. If no one was there, could it be that there's some sort of mechanism that shot an arrow when the inspector touched the, the box or something like that? Um, Maybe it was a booby trap? You want to check if it's booby trapped? Yeah. Then yeah, go ahead. Make a... and if uh, if it's okay, I will uh, I will just look on the boxes where I am to see if they look uh, any different or something uh, unusual on them as well. Uh, I'm, I won't force anything, but just see if uh, if I can open them. And... Um, yeah, with the investigation check, you figure out it's not been uh, tampered with. It's just a regular box, okay. but from the way it looks like. This was already been opened before transportation. It hasn't been closed properly. The lock has been put back on it afterwards. Um, um, I'm going to guess there's nothing inside that. Well, the vice, uh, the... Actually, what was the name I gave this guy? I already forgot. Uh, it was supposed to be Ken Draven. Rails, but... Draven. Yeah, Draven, the red the rope guard, guy, but... yeah. And, no, the red rope guy, and this is the... Um, um there is a partner that you are detective. One. Oh, the... Darian. Darian? Vice Inspector Darian. Vice Inspector Darian, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mixing up two names now, that's my bad. No, that... <laughs> no, no, it's no Joey's bad, we already figured it out. Um, uh, he will walk up to be like, yeah, I already opened it. Um, I actually found the gun, but I put the lock back on because, well... After what happened, uh, yeah. Do you so still I can have this handgun? No, it's inside the box. I can open it for you. I have the key right here, and uh, it will hand it to you. Might as yep. well check out the what was so important here. And so, uh, yeah. as as I was talking to Draven, I would like to know if I'm able to pick up his voice and his ma his voice from the actor feet for Draven specifically, the red robed guy. Sure, make an insight. Uh, All right. At the meanwhile, what uh, what else are you going I'm, to do? I'm I'm gonna open the box. See what's open in there. The box. No, nope. right, that, will... that's a four. Sorry, and I will know. be that's... still seeing. Is there anything else on the other boxes where I'm looking, or are they closed? To, no, or... they just seem like regular shipping boxes. Like, yeah, they have been opened to check what the okay. supplies are in it, but they are not, you know, important. Tampered. Cool, cool. Yeah, exactly. Well, um, I'm going to make a couple of insight checks. My first insight checks. I want to see the the inspector, the the, um, the his partner, Darian. Darian. How he uh, how his behavior is. Is he really relaxed? Like when the situation, is he upset by the situation of his partner kind of being dead, or does he seem to be like? He's more meh. like a despair version of panicky, or no nervous more likely to say like he's well he's kind of in shock okay. that's what you get with he's stuttering he's you know, shaking his hand he's like he isn't really there it looks like how long uh, how but long then, you, uh, how long you been partners together oh well, we've been working like two years now since i moved here um i started off as a regular guard and then well, worked myself up uh and now yeah I've been working with him for yeah then, yeah. Do you know if he a had year, any, year and a half? Do you yeah. know apart from uh, obviously we got the serial killer, but this doesn't look like his mo. But do you um, uh, do you know if he had any enemies? No, well obviously there is a criminal underground here that we are aware of, but they wouldn't do anything as reckless as directly attack us. They uh, this 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 is not the thing they yeah. uh. Hearing, hearing that, can I make another investigation check for specifically something a thief would leave? Because I know thieves can't. Sure. Uh, 
sure you can make a perception check to see if you can uh, see any cool. TV symbols. Cool. All right, and after Draven, I would like to see if I could attempt picking up the Vice Inspector's talking place as well. You sure? Because I know Draven, I got a four, so I assume I can't pick up the, the Dravens quite perfectly yet. You don't really pick up any thief signs. But, yeah, with the perception of 15, you will notice the lock of this door has been probably broken. Not like open, but it's like forced open somehow. Oh, I'll, I'll first take a look at this hand and then I'll just kind of, not even, like, turning my head, just say, that door's a bit fucked, by the way. And uh, he'll kind of just nod his head back over there as if he saw it as he was walking past. Okay, um... I will send if I... Uh, if, as we all together, if it's okay, I will... I will send telepathically tell Kiara to go inside there. Uh, so it is hot, Stinny? Yeah, just to have a look. And I will just take a second. You will see me that I put my hand on the box and then I go into Kiara's eyes. Kiara's eyes, sorry. Sure. Um, yeah, let's go to the handgun thingy first. Um... Yeah, without um, really that much knowledge, you know that you know this is an hand fire weapon, but for what reason they needed this, you are unaware. But it's there, and yeah. well, um, it doesn't really yeah. look like it's hidden that good in the box. It's yeah. like well, um, kind of a shallow open place. Like I'll, if you wanted say, this to be sneaky transported, then they did a terrible job. Yeah, I'll, I'll say it. Do you think we we could take this back as evidence? Also, does it seem like it's loaded or there's ammo nearby? I'd like a gun. That's oh, well, that. yes, I'm, I'm saying that true. If you true. check out the handgun, it's loaded with six bullets in it. But, uh, Ooh. Oh. Nice. But, uh, uh, once you mention it, Raven will go to you and be like, we will take that I will take that personally to the police office station. So, But thank uh, you. Uh, fair enough. I appreciate enough. your thoughts. Uh, what, what did that note say on the dead body? Um, um, exactly again, sorry. Let's see. Official report. Requested item found. A Larson handgun. Found in a wooden box at the docks. Yeah. Uh, you pass me that note for a second. Who, who requested this? Uh, were you asking this, Draven, or the... Just out loud it with both Inspector and Draven, Draven there. Oh, yeah. Um... Well, Terry over there actually requested it. Um, we have a feeling that the serial killer might have used a Larson handgun in one of his recent killings. Um, that's why we wanted to make sure to you know, get our own hands on this. But uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right now it feels more like it's been a set trap from the serial killer to make us come over here and well take one of us out and... Well, apparently I was the lucky one to look into the box, so... It's okay. It's alright. We've all lost people. I know that... He's probably a good friend of yours, but... Um, he's at peace now. And I'm sure if he believed in some deity or anything, then he'll... Uh, he'll be, uh... He'll be in a good place. He will only be in a good place once we found the culprit. Once he's charged with what he has done, yes, then he will rest happily. But now, no. You said the name of the inspector who's dead. His name is Terry, you said? Yeah, Terry. Terry, okay. Terry, sure Seinfeld. Terry. Yes. Terry Seinfeld, yes. Terry Seinfeld. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. And mm -hmm. also for Cisco, make a perception check for... Uh... Kitiara. Kitiara. Do I need to do another insight check to copy the uh, Vice Inspector Darian's speech? Possibly? Yes. Okay. Let me do another one. Let's do that for every time. Every time? Okay. Actually, yeah. Nope. <laughs> I'm just I'm just off my game today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Oh, your bird uh, flies into it, and it's just a regular storage room. Okay. It, it doesn't seem to find anything interesting in there. But All right. By the looks of it, this door seems like the only entrance. Okay. Alright. Um, as, 
as I see that through her eyes. Uh, I'll just stay uh, in her eyes for a, for a few seconds and I will just uh, move forward, kind of like just try to do like a like a quick high view from to see if there is someone actually in some roof or something looking at us or like uh, it's just going to go quite high. Sure. Um, you won't really notice anything. Like the floors over here are cleared. People are not allowed to get near this place right now oh okay, there are okay. people walking over here at the market for example but all right like this entire street has been yeah cool so I'll, sure be no one is yeah. so I'll be satisfied i'll just uh, go to my own senses and i'll uh, i'll tell her to stay around there just keeping a look in case cool, cool, cool. thank you anybody else wants to do something yeah uh well go ahead go ahead yeah you go first um so, I'm going to take a look at this um, door right here, and I'm also going to check if, like the other door, if there's any locks broken or anything like that with it. Like, is it structurally um, uh, structurally sound compared to yeah. this other door it's, that has it? This one is, uh, the lock is uh, built inside of the fence, and by the looks of it, it, was just, it works normally. It's not burst open. Came in through, possibly came in through there, took position, but if that door, now is it accurate to the map where the door, when it broke, it's outward or inward? Like, is it yeah, going towards? It goes towards this side, yeah. That's how it okay. works. I yeah, check inside. Good. There is nothing of interest there. Just a normal storage uh, uh, cell wheel. No, no, you're lying now. So you, I, you've been standing there all that time. Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry, J uh, Miss, J uh, Miss Jane. Uh, I actually. Jane. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, Jane. Uh, I can actually, go through uh, my uh, bird's eyes uh, using uh, my little spark. Will's going to walk up to this room. Oh, we, and, uh, Will, be, ca gonna, be careful. He's just going to say, it's okay if I walk in here real quick, right? Sure, like. And Will's going to walk in, and what he's going to do is, like, he's going to take a, um, like, he's going to kind of look out the door, and he's going to adjust himself to see if there's an angle where he can kind of see this door from in here. No, because, well, this is, uh, no. it looks like a metal door, but it's actually just a wooden door, and it will open yeah. just like it shows, and there's no yeah, possible way that you can... Yeah, find there's the corner, no, in between. This kind of corner is the problem, no? Yeah, you will... Uh, let's mm -hmm. I just put, pick up the ruler and yeah, like either the door or the corner is in the way of mm -hmm. being able to see through the gate. And then he'll go the opposite direction and uh, just using the ruler here, seeing what it looks like. Hmm. That places it at the box to see the person opening, but not not the person shooting. Hmm. And Will's gonna step out. Um. Soul, can you come here real quick? Just for a second? Uh, walk. <laughs> every, every, everything I'm gonna okay? Into, I'm going to whisper into Soul's ears. Is there any other blood splatters on the floor? Say it again, sorry. Are there any other blood splatters on the floor? Oh, uh, I haven't really checked. And I'll start looking on the floor uh, to Maybe see if I see. Moved. Maybe something like that. Yeah. Um... Maybe this isn't even where he was killed. I'll try to do this, just check if there's any blood, just, uh... Make investigation check. Okay. Uh, oh, can I try to sure. smell for blood or anything? Sure, you can smell, make a perception, I guess, <laughs> with advantage. <laughs> I'll come and, uh, stand next to, um, Sam Taylor for now. Okay. Ooh, That's double seventeen. Nice. Ooh, nice. Both of you. Um, yeah, let's do the smell thingy first. Um, you will probably figure out from the smell from it that um, the moment you teleported towards that place, this person probably died like five minutes before you arrived. So it just happened right before you came in uh, to the city. Do you remember who was on the who was on the Oh, does anyone? I'm gonna ask out loud. I this, believe oh, this all. body died recently when we arrived. Do you, 
Do any of you remember who was on that boat before we got teleported away? Only the captain, I believe. No, not on the boat we were on. The Oh. The oh, the... And uh, he'll pull us. out the form. You mean the one who gave us these? Purple rope. He did introduce himself as the war mage, but I forgot his actual name. Oh, yeah. well, yeah, you mean the Leander. Leander, <clears throat> Leander, yeah. Leander. Was the same person. But... Was there anyone else in this area at the time, uh, sir? Uh, I mean, besides Draven and 30 angry guards. No problem. Oh, we have known the only person that was here was Darian. And then that lady that saw no one leave the scene, so... And we know that this gate was locked, this door was Darian. locked. The only possibility place was either the water or a fatal vanished. But Can he... Darian didn't see anyone. Does he have a habit of going invisible or teleporting? Who is? The... Um, uh, Darian. You mean the assist? Like the... Uh, no, not the assistant. Um, the, the one in the purple robes. Oh. You mean Leander. 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 Yeah. Leander. Leander. Wait, are you accusing Leander of performing this killing? I was actually with him before we got called to get over here, so... Okay, so... Uh, what we can... think... What, what, wait, wait, I just... just Alright, this is getting a little out of hand and in, in, we're thinking a bit too far. We gotta bring it a little bit in. Focus on the f what we have now. We, 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 we have a dead body right here, which died five minutes, and Darren, you're the only one that was here. So my question, not accusing you, Darren, please don't... I know that you're going through a hard time, but did you do a truth circle on Darren? I know he's an inspector, but, um... Well? Yeah. Like, Darren yes, and Darian, uh, Draven yes, are both looking kind of shocked at you, like... I really doubt he has any responsibility with this, but I cannot cast Soon of Truth. I'm not that authorized to cast any of those spells you need. We just need it. We're just trying to take all the Can possibilities away. So, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, 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 Jay, uh, just one second. Darren, you didn't have anything to do with this, right? Well, no, of course not. Well, yeah, obviously I had to do something with it. I was with him to inspect this case. No, well, I'm talking about to, yeah. his dead body. No, of course not. Inside oh, I saw check. One. Inside check to a big time. Everyone looks dun dun dun. You know, uh, while they're doing that, the the woman before y'all mentioned, did you mention her name and where she is? Maybe the wrong questions were asked. If you don't mind me asking, if we are going to be thorough. She 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 she's a woodworker. You said right? Is that what's that uh, crossbow book made out of? Well, the, uh, there's a wooden part, that's it. But there's also a metal part. She would at least know about the wood. And plus, besides, this isn't really a military crossbow, I think, as we've been told. So maybe it's not anyone in any official capacity. Or if it is, they know where to get the more off-brand stuff. Or maybe they made that themselves and they didn't want it to, to go back to the blacksmith they bought it from. They gotta get the wood to make it somewhere. Yes, that's yeah, I think that's something. Mm, for the inside checks, uh, Jane Sir saw you don't read anything. But for Jane, you notice that his type of nervous shifted a little bit. He sounds like a different type of nervous, like like you indeed got him on something, but you're unaware of what. It seems guilty, to be it's guilty nervous. <laughs> Or that he knows more than he's letting on. Exactly. Because... Uh, so, um, where I come from, I, you know, I, I, I generally just don't really get involved with these situations. I'm, 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 a, I'm a fighter. I'll, I'll probably make a good soldier and stuff. So I kind of analyze body and the movement and the way they are and the behavior. And I kind of prep for fights like, just like that, you know? Uh, uh, and I saw something shift on you, Darren. Why don't you just spit it out? 
What is there to spit out? I already gave my reports. You can go to the police office center and just read it yourself, all I've said. If you can contradict a lie I've been telling, yeah, then go ahead, prove that lie to me. Are you okay to uh, go into those little tooth bubble that they created and answer some questions? Yes, of course. Hmm. Well, can you cast it? A little towards Draven. Or get someone, no. someone, someone to do it now? Well, not now. We need to request the stage mage first. And well, sorry, but here in Broden, there are not that many mages since, well, we are more of a transport city instead of, you know, a city made of war. We are already not really in a location that I would say we are in danger. So, no, there aren't really that many mages we can summon but like in the next three four hours maybe we can find someone that is willing to do it for us well i, I don't know well, i think as we're finishing i don't think there's anything else we can find here should we pass on them the information and continue looking around our little uh if, list of people to help be, if you'd be so kind uh draven or dory or darian either one of you could either one of you give us, perhaps, a way to find this woman that you all asked about? Just to make sure, just in case. Yes, yeah, it would be good. To to her. Draven will hand you a piece of paper with, uh, yeah, it was apparently the name is Lisa Amberberg. She, uh, Whoa, she sounds very similar to my surname, that's scary. Uh, Lisa Hunderberg, yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure. Alright, thank you kindly. Uh, in that case, I don't know what we can do here is, um... Well, yeah. if you're more interested in researching this serial killer, um, well, yeah, you can go into Terry's uh, office, in my opinion. You know, he has oh. a lot of research onto this serial killer. Oh, well. If you well, like, you could. You know. Yes, uh, that would be a great idea as well. Uh, could you please maybe escort us there if you are able to, or tell us what it is? Yeah, sure. Well, one of my guards will... Uh, guide you towards it. Uh, I perhaps stay a little bit longer here. Oh, okay. Uh, but, uh, I will come on, I will tell Tiara Kiara telepathically as she says that uh, stay on the corner of the building and, and watch what he does when, when we go. Uh, before we leave, uh, Wills uh, is going to take one last look at this area. Is it also a storage room just like the other one? Um, it doesn't look like a storage room, more like a regular building for you know um more, more like a, a specific dock for people to hang out for uh, uh, the workers to hang out a bit um gotcha. not not really supplies or ghetto tier or anything and besides that the door was closed oh, okay uh i guess in that case uh those is gonna start heading out all right i guess uh we can either go talk to this Mrs. Amberberg, or we can go to Seinfeld's office. What do y'all think? Uh, I'll look around. Um, if no one says anything, I will say, I think we should get all the information first, as, po as much information, and the research from his office will be beneficial for us, so we uh, know what to ask the lady. Uh, uh, I don't want to do this, but I agree with Metal Ed. I'm not much of oh, a people oh. person. I'm with Saul he, on this one. He he doesn't he doesn't laugh at you laughing. I'm just saying that now. Uh, yeah, I'm not much of a people person. It's been a few hours. You probably you probably could tell. But yeah, so maybe getting the information will be better. Yeah, I'll not. Consider myself a bit of a better talker, but it does sound reasonable to go to the office first. You and Will are um, just like uh, opposite sides of the coin. You know what? Cisco, I've been dying to say this. Make a fate roll. <gasps> oh no, okay. At least don't do this, okay. And is it the uh, same rule of you have to call high or low? Or is yes, it Cisco's and the yeah. 10 is reroll. We just keep the exact same. Just for, for me, from, from right now until forever, I will always go high. Just in case I ever forget, you know, I will never roll low. So high is my number. Come on. Come on. 
Yes! Okay. 14. Okay. Your bird made a terrible perception check. <gasps> oh no. Okay. That's all I'm saying. The power of DM flows into your soul. It feels good to ask the question. <laughs> Make a <Yeah>. favor. <laughs> Okay, all right, yeah, so I think... I mean, that was a success, though, I supposedly. The fact that you know is probably the success. Okay, 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 yeah, that's good. All right, so I don't waste yeah. my time. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, all in right. that case, um, I guess we're just going to go to the office. Wait, he's telling him that huh. his bird didn't make a high enough perception check in the, in the, in the little room. Yeah. So maybe sold out his bird. Oh, 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 we should check there again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought I will... he was checking overall. I didn't know that he was, it was for the specific room. Um, I will. Ah, okay, okay. You mean like after we go, yeah, or or when she went inside the room? When she went inside. Yeah, the when room. you're yeah. Gitiara was checking out his room. That was a terrible roll. That's all I'm ah, saying. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So then, uh, knowing uh, well. As you tell me as a player, I will meta game and use it because otherwise, what's the point of you telling me? Remember, so, meta game is allowed. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah. So I will say, I will say to Jay Feather, I feel like uh, when Kitiara was there, she was distracted with all the seats and food. Uh, could you just take a quick look before we leave? You are very perceptive. Uh, yeah. Please, just let's go. Lead the way. Okay. Yeah, and I will. Uh, I will go with him just to make sure. Just stay on the door. Sure. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Just make a perception or investigation check if you want to check out this room. Okay. Yeah. Um, maybe... um, what advantage? You specifically said there's uh, one door, so mm -hmm. really we should have seen anyone go in and out potentially. Twenty-five. And that's a twenty investigation. Wow. Yeah. Um, after looking through uh, through some boxes and everything, you notice that one of the boxes is actually empty, and the bottom part of the box is also empty. And you see there's been, at like the entire corner over here, there's been a tunnel digged throughout of it. Oh. Like Look it was a this. hidden tunnel underneath some box. <gasps> Whoa! Uh, I'll kind of come over here. We found something <laughs> like, you know, like, like a, a hero style character. <laughs> there is a tunnel here, and and we missed this the first time. How? Uh, oh, it is kind of in the back. I was a little distracted, maybe. It's it's all new to her. All right, so what we're doing are we are we going through this tunnel? Yeah, and uh, Will's gonna like see if he could poke his hand through it to see if he, that even fits. Like, is it a big tunnel or is it like a little? It's first uh, like can... a three to four foot drop before it mm -hmm. goes deeper and so from the Whoa. points where you are standing, you can see where it's going. Mm. And then uh, what uh, Will will uh, will do? He's gonna go into his inventory and. Um, grab a uh, rope. So, like, is it big enough for one of us to go inside? Three yes, up. it's made for it's yeah. human and, to fit. Um, is it like a straight down? down? Is it a straight drop down drop? Yeah, it's first to three to four. So, he's going to pull out the rope. He's going to pull out some rope and say, all right, um, Dane, you're, you're a little bit stronger than me. Can you hold this real quick? No. Uh. Before he does that real quick, can I push down a gust of wind uh, using the cantrip gust? Do we hear the wind just keep going? Is it whistle? Or does it kind of just stop abruptly at some point? Um, normally, how does a gust work? It's a saving throw, right? No, it's uh, not a saving throw. I don't think so. Or is it, it an it attack roll? It's not even an a... attack roll. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> it it oh, just does wind, a... right? Like uh... it just blows like a little like puff of wind. Yeah, it is a saving throw. No. Uh, there's okay. a strength saving throw of 15. Mm -hmm. uh, I can push a medium or smaller creature. It can create a small blast of air capable of moving one object that is neither held nor carried. That weighs more than uh, no more than five pounds. Cool. 
Uh, um, I want to I want to do a harmless sensory effect using air, such as causing leaves to rustle, winds uh, to rustle. I just want to create like a like a you know when like you're in a tunnel and you hear like a like the wind blowing. Yeah, that is going to be true. That you mean that I want to see if the wind goes through, or if it whistles, like uh, to see if there's like an opening on the other side, basically. Yeah, from what you will gather then is that there's it goes somewhere. Oh. But so there is with the amount side. of power of wind you have costed, you can't physically hear where it's from. <laughs> so at least we know there's another there's a way out other than yeah. this side of the, the tunnel. I'll um, I'll quickly say to the guard that we found something we're gonna I think we're gonna investigate in a, in a little tunnel. And uh, I think get ready to go in. While while I'm while I'm stepping through and starting to go through the tunnel, can I see how it was come? Is it like a smooth circle, or was it kind of dug out over time? You no, know, it looks very smooth. Like this tunnel was planned to be made. Like there's proper construction to it. Like, it's not amateur work. This is done by someone who knows their stuff. Like. Pretty pretty well made this this tunnel. Probably made over time, but someone really planned this. We should be careful what we're walking into. Well, <laughs> crawling into. Um uh, I will uh I will call Kiara Kitiara over. Uh so she goes with us too and I'll uh, uh so are we all going then? Well I'm already going in. I'll just follow them. I'll start uh, climbing, like quick I, metal clanging. I, I, I kind of have to, so I'll jump in. I'll go in second to last, I guess. Well, halfway through the climb of the tunnel, Mo, um, I should use name Jane. Uh, <laughs> you will find a hand crossbow halfway through the tunnel, laying there on the floor. Oh. Uh Oh my god. G guys, G guys, look. Uh, is this the murder weapon? And uh, what uh, Will's gonna do, he's gonna mage hand lift the hand crossbow and just kind of just like rotate it, look at it around. Hmm. The, the bolt that we found was it, it was a bit small, right? It was thinner, that's for sure. But a bit smaller, this might be it. Why would anyone kill someone and then leave the weapon? I mean, probably because it's a hidden tunnel that none of us caught until is way it, later. Is it heavy? I mean, does it does it look uh, DM? Does it look like a a, a heavy crossbow or a, 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 just a normal crossbow? Sure. No, it looks like a regular a hand. hand crossbow. Hand crossbow. Um, you can actually make an investigation check on it if you want. Yeah, sure. I do to that. find I some mean, more properties of perhaps it. Perhaps they uh, they were in panic and they were they were trying to run away and they thought this was hindering them. They must have left behind. It could be it could be for all these type of reasons. I will I will say, usually, uh, a weapon left the scene of the crime usually is just a sign of warning. In my experience. Are we all doing investigation roles or just those two? Anyone who's interested in this weapon? Yeah. Uh, maybe they left it because having the weapon and being carried outside with it will make them instantly guilty. So they were trying to Put hide. A nat twenty uh, on that. the board, please. <laughs> the thing is, the Do thing, the thing is, though, <laughs> why, why not? Why not destroy the crossbow then? Why keep it somewhere where you could possibly use it again? How much time has gone by since I used um, uh, enhance ability? By the way. Don't know, probably like 10 50 minutes investigation. So let's say okay. 10. 10? Okay. But, uh, Still yeah, good uh, for another 50 minutes. Uh, yeah, the crossbow will go around everyone's hands. No one seems to really pick up anything <laughs> on it, except for you, Jay. You will notice that this crossbow is actually a bit crooked. Like, it shoots. No, it's. Leftish, let's say like that. It's it's twisted a little bit, so it's in the handle or in the um where the bolt slides in. Um, 
like the shooting part where it's you no know, yeah, area of this yeah, bow. Yeah. That's that part is a bit like it's. Do you guys? Can you guys feel this? Oh yeah, it's, it's a bit. Open. It's a little bit to the left. It's slanted. Hmm. Perhaps the wrong person got shot. Also, this crossbow isn't really that well made. You know what? Uh, uh, fairly. Um, yeah, when I was speaking to uh, oh, Darren, now, now that he's not here, uh, he he was hiding something for sure. I think he's. Do you think he's trying to cover up for someone else? No, I think someone was after him, but he's a, his companion or his, his buddy got killed instead. Maybe we should take it back to him, see what, show him what we found. I mean, the tunnel still goes on, right? We should keep going. We may find more clues. Stick two things together. Yes, of course. I think it's a um, good idea. Uh, yeah, who's going to hold on to the crossbow for right now? Whether I could use it, uh, but I already have one that I don't really use often. I don't. I don't use stuff like that. I'm sorry. Let Sam? me just check my inventory to make sure I'm not talking out of. I mind. mean, I'll I'll take hold of it, but I'm not actually going to use it. I'll just I'll just add it to my inventory and just yeah. put evidence. Let's, I have a crossbow let's light already. <laughs> Once, just right now, I just want to see something real quick. Sam, can you? Shoot a, a rock or something. Aim it. I'm gonna put two two rocks beside each other. Aim at the one in the center. I'm gonna hold further away from these guys. I I just I just realized I was mute. I was like, sh uh, sure. How, how how dark is it? Like in this tunnel. In this tunnel, it's yeah, dim light darkness. It's yeah. Hard to I see don't. Here. Yeah, right, I'm so I think rock, like, 10, 15 feet away I'll, be, I'll be doing this at disadvantage then, won't I? You can also yes. do this later. <laughs> yeah, we can also do this later. Let's shoot the rocks later. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, you said you're doing a disadvantage? Yeah, I, 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 ha I don't have that vision. Can I... Can I metagame here and say if you want to do it, do it. You won't have disadvantage, I promise you that. Huh? What? I promise you, if you want to do something at disadvantage, you will not have disadvantage if you want to do the thing. Uh, okay. Well, I don't want to do it. It's, it's, it's lucky that wants me to do it. Well, I think I'll do he's it. trying to cast a spell on you or something. Oh, right, okay. In that case, I'll I'll shoot it at the rocks. Take off the disadvantage. Uh, sorcerer ability. Oh, cool. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, sure. Make an attack roll against the rock. Small, to, uh, wow, I get a good roll now. 22. Oof. That's how well, Tales for Fields. Yeah. The, the, the cross ability, ball. in case you guys want to know, and I'll post it, is called oh, yes. uh, Restore Balance. Ooh. Oh, cool. Oh, it's right. In the chat. Nice. Mm -hmm. work. We got the first class. We figured out who someone was. <laughs> I mean, I don't. that's up to Mark how like obvious it is to do, but I just picture it like... As like he's having a hard time seeing, time literally stops, and then it gives the readjustment period, I guess. Does he shoot yeah. the correct one, or does it go to the other rock? It goes to the other rock. It shoots leftish, yes. You're right. This thing does not shoot straight. It's fingers of shit quality, I'll say that much now. <laughs> Did you mean to shoot the... The one on the left. I tend, the I tend to, I tend to not miss. Yeah, this mm -hmm. thing's a pile of crap. Jane, you were right. Lucky guess, I guess. It's just, uh... but you know what? I don't think this is enough. Uh... This isn't enough. We just know that the the killer killed the wrong person now. Mm. There is still more tunnel. We should keep going. Yeah, yeah. Actually, right, so. keep in mind, even if we get to the end of this tunnel, this crossbow, it's not official made. It's handmade. 
I'm getting a feeling that we could take this crossbow with us to the woodworks. Even if they didn't make it, they could at least tell us the type of wood and who normally works mm-hmm. with this wood anyway. Yeah, you're right. You're right. We got a lot of leads. Let's mm-hmm. finish this one off, and then uh, we can go and see the woodwork. If it All right. depends to nothing. So I'll keep walking forward, uh, keeping my eyes open. Or, or, yeah. di- or kind of climbing on the rope, whichever the two we're doing now. You have to, like... 40 feet of tunnel, over 40, 50 feet. Eventually, you'll meet a ladder that goes straight up. Okay. I mean, I can go up first, or unless you want to go up, so. Oh, I think, uh, hmm. I think it will be safer if I go first, and I'll start climbing. <laughs> You can take a hit pretty well, I guess. Uh, I don't know if that should take that as an insult, but okay, sure. <laughs> I'll go up behind Soul. Like, I'll go next on the roof. <laughs> Think you will be safe, though. So uh, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a. You you gather that he's quite classic in a way. Yeah, he's yeah, thinking, I know, I know, so I know. he's thinking. You know, like he's not. He's still not. Even though he knows you're a fighter, he's still treating you like you're like a kind of like a defenseless lady. You know. For sure, for sure. Uh, okay. What well, a gentleman. Go, I'll I'll, yeah. I'll I'll go last to protect the back. Sure. As you all climb this ladder one by one, you eventually get into like a dark back room. You can't clearly see yet, but uh, there's only one door uh, right uh, right in front of you. But uh, what you like to do? Hmm. I'd like to use Mage Hand to open the door. Yeah, I'll check. Uh, I'll I'll check if the from what I am could I see if he's got any kind of traps or any magic something or something that looks out of place on the door or around it. Make a perception check, but with uh, do we have dark vision? Yes. Uh, actually, let me make sure. Way. I know my birth has a lot of vision. Let me just make sure <laughs> I do too. Uh, one second. Yes, no, I should have. Uh, I remember having it. Yeah. 120 feet? Um, mm-hmm. Now I'm not sure. So, yeah, I do have that vision. Okay. Uh, then uh, make a regular one. All right. Perfect. Uh, perception, yeah. Or investigation, you said? Either one is fine with me. Okay. So. Oh, 12. You don't see anything strange going around here. Like, you don't okay. see any trace of magic or any physical tampering with any traps. Mm. What's, uh, take, what's uh, taking so long? Can I, can I make a check before I open the door with my mage hand, good DM? Well, what is the check? Also investigation? Investigation, yes. Sure. Thank you. Thank you, Canley. Mm-hmm. 60 feet, no, I'm not. So close to a good number, but you see exact the same thing as yourself. Yep. <laughs> yep. I'm still gonna open the door, mage hand, anyway. Okay, as slowly your mage hand will reach the grip of the door and will slowly open it, and as the door will go right open, we will end this session over here. <laughs> Yeah, I felt it in Tamio. No. It was too easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was just an easy out Oh, nice, man. I'm so loving cool. this. Wow. So good. Very cool. Yeah, very, very nice. Well, well, well. Very refreshing. Thank you, Mark. That was so fucking cool. That's a great tutorial. <laughs> yeah, a great tutorial. I, I, I feel more fun. like, uh, how you call it? Or- orientation, more like it. <laughs> <laughs> orientation. <day. Yeah. laughs> We're skipping orientation. We're jumping right in, boys. Yeah. Damn. When you lie on your resume, this is what happens. <laughs> yeah. Damn, we, are, we are such an interesting bunch. I, I love everyone's character. Very oh, cool. Oh. Really nice. It's a perfect uh, start for a chaotic sandbox RPG. Yep. I was love it. It. it got out of hand very quickly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Whose fault was that, Joey? Yeah. To be fair... It wouldn't have gone as bad if I didn't have to use up all my spells. Yeah. That was your own... Covering. Okay, either way, thank you all for watching. Thank you yeah. all for coming. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week when uh, yeah. we we'll continue you our so adventure much. in the Eye of Observation. Yeah, thank yes. you. And thanks to Darren Curtis Bye. for the music. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah.